I just run up the stairs. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Hello! I had to get a glass, and we don't have clean glasses, so I'm drinking my water out of a wine glass. <sighs> I just ran up the stairs. How are you? How are you, chat? I'm, look, I tried to fix the camera. It's not 100% fixed yet, but it's better. It's better. <sighs> we're playing chess today uh, in 20 minutes, so we're doing some just chatting before that. <laughs> yeah! Power! Thank you so much for the 14 months! That's over a year! Thank you so much. Hi! Who? We get to. I love you, Alyssa. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's also three months. Eliza sub for six months. Let's go! There she is! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> so out of breath. I'm still sick. I, like, I'm not sick, but like, oh. This is just looping. We don't want it to loop. Because uh, I was sick. I'm still out of breath. Uh, Lean Bean, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. <clears throat> How am I today? I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. Um, I'm a bit tired. I wanted to take a nap before. I'm also shaking. I don't know why. Um, I wanted to take a nap before uh, the stream. But I couldn't because I don't have time management. So now i'm a bit sleepy but that's okay that's okay <sighs> how are you chat freaking stairs yeah freaking stairs man freaking stairs uh, 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 chelsea thank you for the sub i appreciate it thank you and leia thank you for the sub i appreciate it thank you thank you i should sleep i will sleep uh, this is a very early stream. I normally don't stream this early. It's, it's great to see all of you here. Damn. Nova, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I normally don't stream this early. So I might... Uh, oh yeah, so what we're doing. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know why I'm all over the place right now. What we're doing today is... Uh, Anna is going to teach us how to play chess some more. And then I will teach her how to play Minecraft, probably today. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're playing some chess, and then we're playing some Minecraft, and then we're probably gonna do some just chatting. Yeah. Uh, Ren, thank you for the sub. I appreciate. It. Thank you. Oh, you're all in school. I see so many people being in school right now. Oh no! Oh no! I hope you're having a good time in school! Hey, Nikki, my you're all in school? Bit, I love you. Oh you no! My comfort. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm your comfort? Let's go! <laughs> why did it go- why, why did it cut off? <laughs> <laughs> thank you though, I appreciate it. Oh, it's, it's just you're my comfort. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Coopers, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. I need to put my phone away because I'm getting messages. Yeah, I think the camera is a lot better though. Right, chat? It's not flimmering as much. That's good. That's good. Thank you for the sub. Oh gosh. Wish for Jari Walla. <laughs> Thank you. I hope I didn't butcher that. What am I drinking? I'm drinking water. I'm drinking lemon water. But we don't have Hi, clean Nikki, glasses. At so the same time as you, the lessons are really helping. Let's go. Good luck with your lesson. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so I'm drinking it out of a wine glass because we don't have. Nikki, I read a fan fiction the other day about Minx and Schlapp murdering George while he is. Will the dream bad boy Halo and Technoblade try to save him? It's safe to say I am traumatized. Really? Okay. Uh. <laughs> know what to Hi, say about that. Have a good day. I I guess. Yeah, have a good 
day. And I am really excited now one has. I love you and hope you are doing well. Thank Have you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You too. And thank you, Swiggity Gay, for the sub. I appreciate it. <clears throat> How is my day? My day was alright. I went on a today. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I talked to Jack. I talked to Jack Manifold. I did that. Uh <laughs> That's kind of all. I had breakfast. Um I played some guitar. I worked on some videos. It's just I do all these things and then for some reason Time just w goes by so quickly, you know, because I woke up really early. I woke up at Hi, 10 today thank you for making me happier. So yeah <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Yeah, Jack Manifold um, We planned some stuff uh, For future streams and everything and just had a nice conversation. Thank you for all the subs and the bits and the donations. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't read it, but I appreciate it. Lara, thank you for the sub. Thank you. <laughs> sadly? Wait, what sadly? What? Oh, also, um... I'm gonna tell you what I have planned for the next few days because I'm actually I'm not sure when I'm going to stream uh, the next few days because I'm going to be very busy tomorrow and the day after. I'm trying to stream either Thursday or Friday because Saturday we have the tournament and we have DND. If I don't stream Thursday or Friday, I will stream on Sunday. Uh, you will get a Dream SMP stream this week. Thank you. Wait, people thought you were me? Nikki, you look so fancy with that glass. My lemon water, guys. My lemon water. Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Hope your day's going well. I would gift some subs like I usually do, but I just got a new laptop that's so okay low on extra money ah oh, no worries thank you i appreciate it thank you um can you say you w -U? Oh, can i say what ooh -woo. ooh -woo. do you want me to say it in my in my uh in my high voice you make me really oh, happy and get me through many hard times three i was wondering what playlist you use on your stream uh i only listen to lily p2 on my streams Will i listen to valentine this month nikki this month it's next month isn't it valentine's day is next month right don't scare me uh i listen to marco azil jacket over hoodie over shirt uh at the beginning and then i listen to lily p2 for the most for the most part yeah Oh no, everyone's spamming ooh hi, now. Nikki, can you say hi, Abby? It would mean the world to me. Hi, Abby. I hope you have a good day. Let me quickly open my Discord on the other screen just so I have it open in case Anna messages me. I'm cold. I'm gonna get a blanket, guys. I'm cold. We're gonna we're gonna have it really cozy. <laughs> my last bits, you you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm gonna have it really uh, cozy once I once I get it. 
There we go. Wait, you woke up at 10? That yeah. doesn't sound like you at all, Nikki. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> I'm alright. I normally, I always wait. Like, my alarm always, okay. My alarm always rings at 11. If I wake up, that's another, that's another question. But, um, my alarm rings at 11. I try to get up at 11 every day. Sometimes I do so. Sometimes I go to sleep at 11. <laughs> when, you know, you never know with Nikki. Thank you, Johnny, for the sub. I appreciate it. All right. That's better. Now I'm not that cold anymore. Nikita's Pog, and we share a name, so that's cool. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. I hope you're well. Can you say hi, Camille, please? Hi, Camille. I hope you have a good day. Hi. 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 I hope you're well. I hope you have a good day. Sorry, sorry. I'm I'm halfway sitting on that blanket. I, I will keep the donations calm today. Got a little crazy last time. You I did. Left. You did. Is your name Tobias? Tobias? Should I call you Tobias? I don't know. Or should I just keep calling to Tobias? I, I don't know. One of your streams. I missed you, Nikki. You're my Hello. Streamer. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I. I am cold. <laughs> so cold. I haven't watched it. Have I watched it? I've watched one of them. I don't remember. I don't remember. What type of mic is that? It is absolutely it's, beautiful. It's a <laughs> oh sorry. It's a HyperX Quadcast. I think HyperX Quadcast S. Uh, that's the one with the moving colors. It's the newest one. Hair looks so cute. Thank you. It's finally washing out and become slowly becoming the color that I want it to be. So that's pretty nice. That's exciting. Thank you for creating content for us three. Oh, of course. I thank you for watching it. Thank you, you know, for supporting me, letting me create content. <laughs> Any shows I'm watching on Netflix at the moment? No. Yes, I'm watching Breaking Bad with Fundy right now. Uh, actually, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hi, I love you. Hello. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm a bit sleepy. I'm gonna wake up during the stream. I'm just a bit sleepy right now. Uh, Shy Bailey, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. I'm just gonna keep drinking my water and hoping I will wake up. Uh, little Potato, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. So fancy, so fancy. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nikita. Can Let's go! Is Pog. Nikita's Pog. Face. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, so many Nikitas. <laughs> Nikki, thank you for calling my name cool yesterday. Can you say Jailer is swag? <laughs> Jailer is swag. It has a cool name. <laughs> Nihachu tell Wilbur I said hi and also thank you for being a big part of my life. Thank you. Have helped me past my depression and I just wanted to Aww. say thanks. I hope you're alright. I hope you're okay. My name is indeed Tobias, so you can choose Pog. what you want to call me. I'll call you Tobias, because I, I think that's easier for me. Of course, of course. <laughs> Yeah, it's easier to say Tobias, so I don't say your name wrong all the time. I've never used bits before, but hi, it's Camille again. Hi, Camille. 
Tobias is a cool name. It is a cool name. Tobias. It's Tobias in German. We have a few Tobiases. Nikki, can you say hey Shiloh? It would mean the Hi Shiloh! Me make me so happy. I hope you have a good day. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm the sleepy chat. Oh gosh. It's okay. It's okay. I'm meeting a new person today. I've never talked to Anna. Uh, Chess.com hit me up with her. Um, I've never talked to her. So I'm going, my anxiety is going to spike up once I talk to her. So I will actually wake up. Don't worry. We're going to wake up. <laughs> Oh my god, I always, when I was younger, uh, you know how when you're like younger, or not even, not just when you're younger, just in general, sometimes you just, you always have like this name that you would like to be, you have, I always wanted to be called Lily, I don't know why, I just think it's a really cool name, I always wanted to be called Lily, now I'm happy with being called Nikki, but yeah, when I was younger, I always wanted to be called Nikki, uh, Lily, sorry, <laughs> yeah. Nikki. In Hello. Making a dreams MP blanket and you're going Ooh. to be in it. Ah. Uh, I can't wait hug. to finish it. I love your hair by the way. It's so cute. Three. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm excited for it I love to be the dreams. color I actually so wanted to be. It's like on this side, it's like pretty much, pretty much the color. <laughs> Lil Hachi. <laughs> Leah. Leah is a cool name. Someone said they want to be called Leah. Leah is a cool name too. My cousin's called Leah. <clears throat> Where's my cat? My cat's outside. I can see if he wants to come in. Hi Melody. I hope you have a good day. Melody is a cool name too. Melody is such a pretty name too. I like it. Hi Ruby. Ruby. Why is everyone here has such cool names? What? Chat. Chat. What is it? What is that? I mean, what is an uncool name? There's not many uncool names, isn't there? Sorry, what? Oh, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Autumn. Ah, oh, someone said their name's Autumn. Autumn is such a cool name too. Gosh! Contagious and makes me smile too. Thank you. So your hair reminds me of when I had pink hair. I love it lots. Ah, uh, thank you. I like it too. It's it, now. I, now I'm fine with it. Responded to my question when I asked your opinion on the name Lily, and when you said you loved that name, it made me very glad to be named that. Ah. Uh. Oh. Hi Nikki, you're so pretty. I love your videos and content. Thank you. Can you maybe say hi Michaela? Hi Michaela. Love I you. hope you Great. have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, hey, I'm Nikki, uploading a new video I was tomorrow. Wondering which hair dye you use for the pink? I want to dye I, my hair too. I don't know. I don't remember. But once I buy it again, I will tell you, chat. I will tell you. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, God. Quill, sorry. Quill TV, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. I'm so sorry. I'm not yawning at you, I promise. Hello. <laughs> Just very sleepy today. Hi Ari. hi, Ari. I hope you have a good day. Hi, 
thoughts on the name Duke, by the way you were Duke? I've never heard that name. That's a cool name. I like it. I have a normal name, Thomas. That's a cool name too though. Tommy is called Thomas, right? Is he? Oh god, I only know him under Tommy. I'm actually not sure. If you watch Naruto, the pink hair reminds me of Takura Haruno. I've watched a bit of Naruto. I watched the uh, Naruto Naruto and I watched a bit of Shippuden. Hi, Nikki. Can you say hi to Kira? Also, I love your content. Hi Kira. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good day. Hey, my name is Bowie. I love my name, lol. It's but a cool I name. Younger, I wanted to be called Nikki. Really? Have a good day. Damn. Damn. Danielle, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Playing chess? Yes, in a bit. In a bit, we're playing chess. In like three minutes. I'm gonna call her. Have a cool name. It's short for Evelyn. I always wanted my yeah. name to be when I was little. Really? I've never heard anyone wanting to be called Nikita. That's Can you damn. Hi Chloe, that would make Hi me Chloe. Play. I hope you have a good day. I'm wearing the drip again, by the way, chat. <laughs> Thank you, uh, uh Art Artem Woes? I'm so sorry. Art Meows. Art Meows for the five gifted subs. Thank you. I appreciate it. The pants again. Yeah, they're 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 just so cozy. They're good. They're good pants. You know. My name is Ace. I picked it out myself. Ah, that's nice. Ace is a cool name too. <clears throat> My name is good, Alfie. Alfie? Isn't- oh no, I thought Tommy in his editor is called Alfie, but he's not. It's Archie. I'm really bad with names. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Some of you should have, because hello, I am I just horrible with names. Can you please say hello to Kayla 3? Hello Kayla, I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much. Hey. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, I'm going to message Anna. Hello. I am ready. Hello. Can I say hi, Lily? She loves your streams and so do I. Hi, Lily. I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much. Can you uh, say hi, Beata, or also love your vids? Thank you. Hi, Beata. I hope you have a good day, too. Thank you for liking my videos. <laughs> oh, those are the subs, I think. For Art Meow. Art Meows? Art Meows? I hope I'm not butchering that. Oh, gosh. Hi, Nikki. Thank you for being such a kind and sweet person. Thank you. You are so amazing. The world could use more people like you. <laughs> thank Never you. Change. Thank you. Thank you. I look cozy. I am cozy. I, today I need to be cozy because I'm so sleepy. I need to be cozy. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Let's go. Cosmo and Wanda. Do you like my name? It's Shiloh, and you. I do. Face. I do. I like it. It's a cool name. Stevie, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm waiting for Anna. Mm, sorry. I'm waiting for Anna to respond. Mina, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Let's just do a stream. Sleeping stream. Oh no. That is makeup. Uh, a sleeping stream chat. Where we just all sleep. <laughs> okay. Oh. What happened? To the light. 
Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Anna's calling me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick up. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Well. I can hear you. Perfect. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I'm a bit sleepy, but other than that, I'm good. That's okay. I've been so sleepy today as well. I feel like this is just a type of day where everybody's sleepy, so it's okay. Okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Worry. <laughs> um, I've sent a friend request on chess.com. Oh, okay. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, I haven't been on chess. I will. I will accept it. Uh, how do I accept it? <laughs> that's okay that's okay um okay wait let me let me figure it out as well um <laughs> yeah so i think you just go to wait let me go to your to your stream i think if you just go to um let's see oh i have it i have it there we you go. have it there yes Can i you see accepted it? it okay awesome yay i got a pen pull after that because i have friends in at least 10 countries thank you for that Ooh, <laughs> let's go awesome wait i'm just gonna put you up here i'm just gonna crop um crop your stream very quickly if that's okay yeah sure i'm gonna switch to to hey, Nikki, the chess the and the so once nice. we're once we're in the game also i awesome. want to hear what this sounds like aha hugget v w n s l s k hmm my mom almost oh days we have wait I'm, I'm gonna show this to chat we have the block mass uh block, block mass block champs god damn it block champs advertised on the front page that's cool oh wow that's amazing that's amazing yeah so you're gonna be participating this saturday yeah i will i will that's why i'm trying to practice <laughs> of course no we are gonna make you win uh block champs hell yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> awesome i'll be i'll be i'll be watching i'm really excited to see that it's it's an awesome event i'm really really excited to watch that mm -hmm. and to see how it goes mm -hmm. okay let's just do like this great hi oh no that was i was not muted i'm so sorry i got a donation <laughs> oh hi God. lily oh i hope God. you have a good day um, <laughs> all right my name is go. madeline Okay, let's see if this looks good now. <clears throat> Hello, you're a massive inspiration to me and you're one All right, there you go. There we have you. I love your hair, by the way. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had this challenge before that if I didn't get 2100 uh, like rated on chess.com, I had to get pink hair. Ooh. But then... But then I got 2100, so... Oh, so I see. Yeah. So, I see. You should have just gotten it anyways. <laughs> I know, I should just have been like, prank everybody, I'm getting it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's really hard to, to upkeep it though, because it washes out really quickly. I like it washed out more than like, just really, really bright. But yeah, it washes out so quickly. <laughs> So is it permanent that you have it or is it like uh... no it's like it's like toned yeah mm -hmm. oh it looks really good i really like it thank you well okay um i thought that we could maybe i saw that oh wait a second i saw that um i saw that you played with uh with bodice the other day you guys mm -hmm. did a uh a uh, little lesson as well so i thought maybe we could start by doing the same thing and then you could like sort of tell me you know what you think while we're while we're playing a game and then maybe we could do like some tactics or something a bit later mm -hmm. sounds that good. sounds good yeah sounds good awesome 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 so i'll just go ahead and send you a challenge then okay okay wait a second um awesome i'll do that in just a second all right. God, I really like your pink hair. How is not Princess Dream FMP? Love um, you, Nikki. Three, okay, two, there we 100. go. So. How long have you been playing chess for? I've been playing chess my whole life. Ever <gasps> since I was like three years old. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Which is, which is crazy. But mm -hmm. both of my parents are grandmasters, so they both work with chess. So that's why I've always played chess. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Um, How long have you been playing chess for? Did uh, you just... Yeah, I just started. I just started. <laughs> I, I started it awesome. because I started watching Queen's Gambit uh, with my friend, with Fundy. And uh, he, while we were watching it together, he taught me how to play chess. And, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm so happy to hear that. Wow. I'm so happy to hear that, like, you know, people have found chess because of the Queen's Gambit. That's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's a really good show, I think. <laughs> My name is Salem, like the I'm happy you liked it. Okay, wait. Cool. I'm just going to do like this. All right, so. Um, okay, I'll start playing with the, with, with the white pieces. Um, and then maybe we can play one when you play with the white pieces. Okay. So, what do you typically do here? Uh-huh. Uh, I would uh, take the pawn uh, from my king. Uh, in front of my king. And we'll put it up. Yeah. Do you do you always do that? Do you always like take that pawn in front of in front of your king? Do you yeah. always do that? Yeah, because I want to castle as soon as possible. So that's really good. Yeah, that's always my plan. That's really good. That's really good that you always want to castle. Um, it's my favorite always move. Very <laughs> pog. It is a really cool move to be honest. It is a really cool move to do that. <laughs> so. Um, also, I, I heard that you were like one, or wait, who was it? No, was it Wilbur? That you were like, like, that, that you learned how to castle before Wilbur or something? I think I heard something like that. Yeah, yeah, because he only learned how to play chess, like, after me. And uh, I think I think Alexandra said that he only learned castling last time when they played. So, That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, it became your favorite move. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, cause I'm I'm probably gonna play against him in the first round, so I'm gonna cast as quick as possible, just to spite him. <laughs> That's awesome. So after d4 and e5, mm -hmm. uh, when you go e5, because for instance, if I would go e4, mm -hmm. um, then e5 would just like nothing would really happen, right? Mm -hmm. Like e4, e5, nothing is really going on. You're just placing the pawn in front of the king, but. After when I go d4, when I bring my, my queen's pawn there, um, when you go e5, then I can actually just take that pawn. Mm -hmm. So perhaps it's better for you to do another move uh, than e5 typically, because otherwise I can just take the pawn. Okay. Um, after d4. Hello again. Okay. Can you please say hi um, If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Stream. That makes sense. Uh, what is the smartest thing to do now? Uh, to move one of the pawns... Uh, either on either F7 or D7, one up. Oh, wait a second, the game is gonna out of or Okay, wait, I think the game is gonna... The game gonna out of board? Okay, oh, yeah. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. No, apparently the game out of boards if we don't play, like, in, in a certain amount of time the first moves. Oh, oh, okay. Should we so, just no, that? Actually... Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Okay. So... I'll do the same thing and then maybe it's even better because once again if, if someone goes e4 if they bring like their king's pawn two steps mm -hmm. then if you go e5 then like what you did then then that would just be good because nobody can capture your pawn mm -hmm. but if I go d4 however I think that everybody's gonna go e4 but let's say that you would go d4 then if you go e5 again then I can just take that pawn okay. so you can sort of think of it as it would like in the beginning as well, it's good to like sort of just be symmetrical a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you can just sort of do the same thing as I'm doing. So if I'm bringing my queen's pawn two steps, you can bring yours. Just like that. Okay, okay. Um, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So, okay, I'm not going to do like some, some weird thing. I'm just going to bring my pieces out here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do the same mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. So just you know, just talk through whatever you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Um I'll I'll just keep on I'll just keep on doing the same thing here. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Hmm. I'll bring my bishop out. This is alright, I'll bring my bishop out. This is called the London. Okay. Um I will Um. 
screwing this up. All right. Yeah. No, that's 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 all good. That's really good. Okay, I'll do the same thing. I just I just want to do the same thing as you. I'm gonna okay. keep on doing it. <laughs> okay. I want to. Hmm. Wait, was that? Yeah. I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> No, that's a good move though. That's a good move. You're just, you know, you're just keeping all your all your pawns in the center super uh, super solid. Mm -hmm. So that's that's good. Okay. Mm, okay. I'll go, let's see. I'll bring this pawn up a couple a couple of steps here. I want to try to break your center. So, uh, as you can see both of us with this opening, what we're both trying to do is that we're trying to get as much control of the center as possible. Mm -hmm. Um and I mean, right now it's like pretty equal because of that we both have like like all the center here. So mm -hmm. this is all good. Um, okay. I will. <gasps> Everybody's hating on me for playing such a boring opening. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Don't hate on her, guys. I am very new to the game. She's she's just being nice. <laughs> You're playing this so well, though. Wow, knight e7. That's really good. You want to try to bring this knight there. Oh, thank um, you. Because when you place your pawn here on, on c6, when you you're really placing your pawn there, then you can't bring your knight there anymore, right? Yeah. So you have to bring your knight somewhere else. So it's really good that you're going knight e7. You're developing your pieces. That's, thank you. um, I think that's, yeah. I think that's one of the most important things. I'm sure that you've heard it, but you know, bring your knights and bishops out in the game, castle your king, and then everything will be fine, basically. Right. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about a way to get my bishop out, uh, my bishop on f8, uh, yeah. in a way that he's not in danger. Because I want, um, hmm. I want to get him up as far as I can. Maybe I, maybe I'll just put him here. That's awesome. That's a really good move. You're pinning my bishop, my knight right now. Uh huh. Um, so I can't move my knight because my king is is on e1. So then you would just take my king. So mm -hmm. I can't move my knight. Um, and pinning is always really fun because you just like really annoy the uh -huh. opponent. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> So this is really good. Um, this is like an actual opening that you're playing right now. Like these oh. are all the best moves. Let's go! I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> you should be. I, I, I'm clapping right now. You can't see me, but I'm clapping. <laughs> I'm learning. I have learned. <laughs> yes, you have. No, this is really good. This is really good. Thank you. So. Now that you're pinning my knight, um, let's see. You're pinning my knight. What can I do? I'm gonna bring my bishop out. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be afraid yet. <laughs> but you're pinning my knight, which is a bit annoying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, you know, a good like a good sentence to remember. I always remember, or I always think about it when you're like thinking about if you should pin something. I always just say, pin it to win it. Oh, I see. That's a good, that's a good sentence. Then you remember to pin stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you're bringing your king to safety. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Okay, so we're going knight h5. What what are you trying to do here? Uh, I'm just trying to, uh, uh like not attack uh, or like put put your put your bishop under attack, even though it is protected. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Why do you wanna, um, why do you wanna attack this bishop? Um, I don't know, to get it. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's really good. I mean, this bishop is <laughs> no, that's 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 exactly why. I mean, this bishop is 
pretty annoying here. It's like taking a lot of squares in this diagonal. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really good that you want to try to take it. Um, I mean, I can't believe this, but this is like the best move here as well. <laughs> I'm just so impressed here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, in late game, I will have no idea what to do. I will blunder a lot. <laughs> I usually do that. <laughs> No, nah, you're not. We're gonna make you not blunder. We're okay. gonna try to do that at least. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the cool thing about chess. It's pretty simple. If you just don't blunder pieces, then you just win, basically. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't blunder a checkmate either. So. Yeah. Um. Hmm, what do I want to do now? Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna bring out this. Okay. So you went b5. Why Why did you want to go b5? Uh, I guess to have more control over the middle. Because now I can just take that pawn without any... without anything. Because it's not under... because uh, it's not protected by anything. Right? Yeah. No, that makes that makes a lot of sense. That oh no, it is! <gasps> oh, never mind. I didn't see your bishop. Well, but then I can take. So I take, you take, I take, and I would win. Uh, the trade exactly yes yeah. so if if you take my pawn then if I took back then you could just take me back and you would win the trade mm -hmm. um so I'm not gonna let you do that um I'm not gonna let you do that okay but <laughs> after b5 what happens if because um when you place your pawn on b5 mm -hmm. then I am attacking that square with one, two, and three pieces. So I'm attacking oh. with the pawn, with the knight, and with the bishop. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> no, but that's that's. I, I mean, mean, that's I'm really still normal, like protecting yeah. it with one pawn at least. <laughs> I guess. No, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's a good thing to think about. Like, how many pieces am I protecting something with in comparison to how many pieces, mm -hmm. like, are attacking it? If that makes square, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. So, like, always count how many times something is protected. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm no, I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. I'm I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna say, ah, oh, okay, you wanted to take my pawn hand before. I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna push it instead. Oh, okay. Um. But yeah, I always try to think about that when you're playing a move. Mm -hmm. So maybe actually, maybe you can like tell me what you're thinking about and what move you want to play before mm -hmm. you play the move, maybe. Okay. If you want to. Okay. Uh, so what I'm thinking now, since you moved it, I could have, I could take it with my knight, but it's protected by your pawn, so I would not, I should not do that. Um, I guess next thing is to probably get up my bishop on c8 so I will move my knight to... huh um... either b6 or f6 oh no actually no if I move it it doesn't really matter because my bishop can only go one square but I want to get my bishop out so I need to do something with that um, yeah that's absolutely right. You want to get your bishop out. It looks very sad on. It looks very sad there. So obviously, yeah. that. that's, that's good. Um, and I wanna. I kind of want to get it to the other side of the of the board because I already have one bishop on one side. So. Uh, I might still just move my knight to, um, f six. To yeah. to to make space for my bishop. That's good. What would have happened if you went to b6, which was the move that you said before? Um, b6. Oh, it would be under attack by the pawn. Oh, you could just take it, yeah, because it would be a better trade for you. Exactly. Good. Good. So instead you won't go to f6. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, so what am I going to try to do? Let's see. Mm. So... I'm sort of having the same problem. My 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 bishop here is not being great either as well. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What should I do? 
Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and kick your bishop out. I'm going oh. to go ahead and kick it out. Yeah, now I need to move it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, got, I gotta move it back. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and kick it out again. I don't want it there. Oh no! It's annoying. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um. Now you're going there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, because well, if I would have gone into the into B six, it would be under attack again, and it would be not worth it. The trade. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and why did you choose to like go back all the way instead of taking on C three? Was there any reason, or um, what were you thinking? On C three. So taking my my horse, my knight there. Ah, oh, I thought I was protected by something. Exactly. No. Yes, it was. It oh, was. It was? Okay. By a okay. Pawn. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. You didn't want to trade it. Yeah. No, um, I didn't. <laughs> Mm, okay, let's see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring a piece up. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Um. The pieces look good in the middle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I'm thinking maybe it would be worth to trade the knight for the bishop. Because they have the no. same amount of points, right? And we haven't traded anything yet. Um, that's 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 very true. Have you you have gone through all the points then? Like how much a pawn is worth and and everything yeah. and the pieces. That's really good. So maybe. So yeah, because your knight is kind of annoying there. Because I wanted to move my pawn up to move my to move my my bishop. <laughs> that is true the knight is annoying there um look at all the pieces that you can trade in this position what other pieces could you trade here uh i could trade another knight uh, i could trade my knight for your bishop yeah uh, on my knight on h5 yeah exactly yeah um, um yeah exactly that's that's the other piece you could trade mm -hmm. and is there any piece that i am attacking right now so i'm being sort of I'm being a little bit sneaky here. I'm just, you know, I'm just bringing a piece up to the center, but am I doing something else at the same time? Um, you are, you're attacking the pawn, with the, with the knight you're attacking the pawn on f7. You are, with the other knight, you're attacking two of my pawns on b5 and on d5. Um, and I think that is all that you're attacking. As far as I can see. Oh, you're also Great. yeah, you're also yeah. with the bishop attacking my pawn, and you're attacking my knight with your bishop. Oh, and my exactly. bishop. Exactly. Oh, and my bishop. Uh, my knight is protecting my other knight. Oh gosh, my knight is protecting exactly. my other knight. Exactly. So I don't know if this is like a little bit too much, but let's say I'm not gonna play the moves because I'm not sure if I can like take back the moves. But um, let's say that you would take my my knight on e5 so the knight in the center if you would take it with the bishop mm -hmm. then i could take it back with the pawn right with the... and then your knight would be under attack and whenever you move that knight i would be able to take the other one so i would win a piece there i don't know if that's oh you see that? yeah yeah that makes sense oh that would be a that would be a bad trade then that would be very bad yeah that would be a bad trade Okay. So, do you have any idea of what a good trait could be then? Um, probably my knight for your bishop. Exactly, yes. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do it, that's awesome. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, I'm going to take with my h pawn, because even though it looks kind of weird to take with this pawn, I guess. We always try to take with pawns that go to the center, typically. Mm -hmm. So, that they, that they go towards the center. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's why. So maybe, yeah, maybe later, maybe later I can show you like the tactic when we get into an, an analysis board, but mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. 
So yeah, F takes F takes even though it looks a bit natural because then that opens up for the rook, it would leave my pawn on e3 really weak and you don't really want to have weak pawns. So that's why I'm taking with the other pawns to have all my pawns protected together. Mhm. Mm I see. Okay. Um I shouldn't move my bishop on c7, but I do still want to get my bishop on c8 out, so I will probably... Huh. Why don't you want to move your bishop on c7? Because it's attacking your... Oh no, it's attacking your knight, but your knight is not really attacking anything that isn't protected. Never mind then. What color should I dye my hair next? Um, also, I love you, MWA. Hmm. I don't. I don't really know. What but are you I, thinking? So yeah, I'm. I'm. Um. I'm thinking if I move my pawn on H seven up, would that be smart? Cause I could, That's a very good move. Yeah, because I, I would allow my king to have a place to escape in case I'm in an iffy situation. And I could try and get it up the board. Wait a second. Oh, did you say a7 or h7? Oh, a, h7. h7. Yeah. Okay, I, I was thinking about the pawn on a7. Oh. No, the pawn on h7 is good to move up at some point. Mm -hmm. um, but at this point, it's always good to think about what is what is my opponent threatening. So... I think that like a really sort of common mistake to make like when you're starting out like everybody makes it mm -hmm. even even pros make it all the time mm -hmm. um is to just like think about your own plan mm -hmm. but i think that a good thing to think about is always to start with thinking if your opponent is threatening anything and then after that when you make sure that your opponent isn't threatening anything then you come up with your own plan so it's always good to have like this two steps before making a move okay okay uh, I so just saw something. Threatening? Yeah, I just saw something. If your knight takes my pawn on c6, your knight can take my queen if I don't move it, because it's my pawn isn't even protected. So I should probably protect protect that, right? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Okay, I'll do this then. Good. Good. And then after that, you can like do all the plans with either moving the pawn on a7 or h7, just like you wanted. Mm -hmm. So that was that was a good plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm just all right. I'm just I don't know. I'm just gonna move my piece here. <laughs> just sort of do something. <laughs> okay. I feel like my bishop is a bit more active in this diagonal as well. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna move my knight here because I wanna I wanna do do more. <laughs> you wanna do more? Yeah, I wanna slowly get up, get up the board. <laughs> <laughs> so typically, um, typically you try to not put knights on the side. That's oh, okay. like a little like unsaid rule in chess basically oh, okay. um, so you try to like not really put knights on the side because the knights on the side typically don't have so many squares to go to as like they can't go to the other side because there's no other side there's just like one side mm -hmm. to the knight instead of two mm -hmm. do you know what i mean there's not like yeah. after the h ball there's not anyone at the right of the h ball so yeah. there's not really a lot of places to go to knight on the rim wait what was the saying there's like a saying there's a chess saying anyway um so you <laughs> I'm so bad with chess sayings. Oh, all good. <laughs> I didn't even know that they were chess sayings, so... <laughs> are there any Minecraft sayings? Uh, oh, I don't think so. There are, like, unwritten rules, like, don't don't dig down uh, on the block that you're standing, or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> So when you're playing Minecraft, you're not like saying a bunch of Minecraft jokes all the time. There's not like that type of thing. There is, uh, I know that there is a uh, green top house, like a house with a green top, which is basically just a house with 
a dirt or a grass grass block as as roof because yeah. that's like usually either of like people who uh who who don't really know how to play the game or who don't really know how to build but that's more of an insult i think <laughs> as far as i know <laughs> Uh, you'll probably be able to say that when I play my <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> no. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> uh, um, well, uh, now I know more Minecraft things than chess things, to be honest. After that, I don't know. <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so try to... Yeah, I think that's the saying. A knight on the... Grim... No, yeah, Night and the Grim is them. I don't know, something like that. I don't even know my English property sometimes. Oh, um, don't worry, me neither. <laughs> you're not from... Uh, you're from Germany, right? Yeah, I'm from Germany. Yeah, I'm from Sweden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, yes, and there's another problem with the knight here on H5. Can you see what the other problem is here? Um... Oh, yes! Oh, no, your queen's attacking it. Oh I oh I just gave away that knight for free. <laughs> exactly. So that's why once again it's always good to see if like just or no, okay, I didn't say about that rule actually. No, that's my fault. I didn't say about that rule. So it's always good to like just double check whenever you're gonna place a piece in in one square that no piece can like immediately take it. Mm -hmm. That's 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 always good. But obviously it's easier said than done. But mm -hmm. um Okay. But no, I I want to give you a chance just to get that knight back. I'm not gonna. I'm not. Oh gonna no, you can, you can take else. it. Oh no, no, I'm not taking it. I want you to keep your knight. I'm gonna <laughs> okay. do something else here. <laughs> okay, so I should. I'm just gonna pretend nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice thing, like in chess. If your opponent doesn't see something, everything is based on your opponent. If your opponent doesn't see something, then everybody can just pretend nothing. Yeah. Happened. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, so I'm gonna play one move here because there is a threat for me in this position that I could do, but I want you to be able to avoid it. So I'm gonna go here, and what's that, what am I threatening right now in this position? Um... I don't see you threatening any anything with my with your queen. Um, not with my queen, maybe. But look at all of my pieces. Uh, you're threatening one of my pawns on B five, but that one is protected. You are threatening another one of my pawns on F seven, but that one is protected. Um, By how you many pieces? Oh, you're threatening a pawn on B5 with two pieces. Exactly. Okay. And with how many are you defending? With one. So there's a problem then, right? Yeah. I could move my pawn on A7 up. To a6, so, yep. pro so I would defend it with 2-2. Two, two. Yep, that's a great move. That's a great move, yes. Okay. So you just defend the pawn. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm. Okay, well, I'm going to take it. Um, go take it. Oh, you have, oh, you have to do it with... Okay, okay, I know what to do, I think. <laughs> what, what what are you gonna do? So you are still attacking it with two. Um, it I think it would not be worth it for you though to take it with either because I am defending it with a pawn and you have a bishop and a knight uh, uh, attacking it. So it would be a loss for you. Uh, with whatever you would attack. So I will probably move my bishop up. Um to again defend it with two because my bishop on b7 isn't really doing anything 
That's really good. That's really good. Yes, exactly. So I can't really take the pawn on b5 because you're defending it with a pawn. So I mm -hmm. would just lose a big piece. Mm -hmm. um, and it's true that you want to get this bishop out of b7 because it's not really doing anything here. Mm -hmm. However, the bishop is doing one thing. Uh, What's that thing? Um, I don't know. Is he doing something? Have you tried wizard's chair? It's a sneaky bishop. It looks like it doesn't do anything, but it's doing an important job here. So imagine that you moved it. Yeah. Just what what would happen to the position then? It would be open. Yeah, it will be. Well, it would be sort of. Well, it depends on a six. There's also a pawn in front of it, so it would be blocked there as well. Oh, but I think if you would get your knight there, you would be able to get my queen? Is it that? Exactly, yes. So mm. so if you move the bishop, then I would be able to get this pawn on c6. I see. Yeah. Oh, so, oh yeah, yeah, it is defending the pawn. So the bishop on b7 right now is defending the pawn on c6. That's like the main job of the bishop right now. But that's like not a great job for a bishop, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it's still a one job. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. So I don't really need to move it because it's already defending a pawn. Oh, wait. Mm. I'm not sure. Because if you get if you get my pawn with... Wait. Oh god, my brain. Okay, if you take my pawn with your knight, I take your knight with my bishop, and then you can take... No, I'm still protecting that pawn. Okay, I'm protecting both my pawns, whatever I do or you do. Okay, never mind. <laughs> awesome. No, that was a great thing of process. That was great. That was great. <laughs> so... But actually, you know what you could do? If this knight... Well, actually, it's my move right now, but... Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'll just play something and then we can. I don't know. What am I even going to do? Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm going to bring my pawn up here. Okay. Um, That's smart, because I just wanted to move... I was thinking about moving my... Uh, my knight to d7 to attack oh no it's still protected but to attack your your knight to maybe hope that you would retreat it but now it's protected from both sides exactly yes yes so if you went to d7 that was a really good move you want to try to exchange this knight this knight is really strong on e5 it's uh, it's taking a lot of squares mm -hmm. and it's also like stopping your pieces from being able to move so much so this knight is is really doing a lot of stuff there mm -hmm. um so you want to exchange it definitely um so that was that was that was a really good move like wanting to go knight d7 mm -hmm. and then i would probably have gone for the same move i would have gone f4 after knight d7 mm -hmm. i see so yeah okay i still need to get rid of this knight somehow though <laughs> I yeah. know I do. It's, it's it is attacked by my bishop, but that's kind of all. Do you, you do you know when I give it? Do you want now when I exchange it with your bishop? Maybe I should. Yeah, I still have two bishops, so I can totally do that. Yeah, just there's one little trick in this position, mm -hmm. um, which is like it's. I think it's good for you to exchange your bishop for this knight. Mm -hmm. The only issue is that right now, both my queen and my bishop are looking at your pawn on h7. So they're both like, um, they're both working together towards like taking that pawn on h7. Um, In front of your king. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. So right now, the only piece protecting that pawn is your knight. But if you take the knight and then I take it back, then your knight will be forced to move. And then the pawn will be hanging on h7. Can you see that or is that a bit a bit long? Um, no, I see it, yeah. Yeah, I see it. 
Okay, so I should not do that. <laughs> Just because the pawn on h7 will be hanging then. But do you remember that you wanted to play a move before? Um, the bishop? Moving the bishop up? What is that? That's the, it? Yeah, right before that. Right before that. Um, oh gosh. Uh, moving, no. As a, hmm. as a way to protect the pawn on h7. Just so that I can never take it. So you can never take... Oh, t uh, uh, move it up. Exactly, yes. Ah, yeah. okay. Um, is it smart to move it up by two? You should typically only move it up by one, because if you move it up by two, then there's a bigger chance that that pawn will become very weak. When you move it up by one, then it's defended by the pawn on g7. I see, I see. So that's why it's typically better to just move it up one square. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's see. What am I gonna do now? If you were to move your bishop down on h7. Oh no, yeah. it's no 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 that 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 square is protected by my by my knight. Okay. Cuz I was thinking if you were to move it, I could not take it with my king because it's still pinned by your queen, but it's protected by the knight. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So that was why it was important to keep the knight on f6 because otherwise when the pawn was on h7, when you took the pawn, I could not take back the bishop with the king because the queen was still pinning the bishop, mm -hmm. still protecting it. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's see. I prefer it when it's your turn than mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? So... All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and just play a little random move here. I'll just bring my rook up. I'm gonna give up okay. some more time as well. So what I'm trying to do now with rook a2 is that I'm trying to double up the rooks on the a-file. We can see that the a-file is the only file that's not blocked by any pawn. So it's a completely open file. Yeah. So in those type of files, we both want to try to gain as much control as possible, which means that like, we want to have our pieces there basically so i'm just gonna try to double double rooks there and bring a bunch of pieces to that file mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i was thinking about taking that rook but you would have taken and now i can't i still can't take it because you have your queen protecting it and your rook uh not your rook your knight exactly yes exactly okay so i should just keep this here um what could i do um So before you were talking about this idea of like taking away this knight on e5, right? You didn't want that knight to stay there. Yeah, definitely. Oh, what if I what if I move my queen to d6? Maybe just to threaten it because it oh no, it would be protect it would be it w yeah, no, it would get definitely get taken by that pawn. That is not very smart. Um, the sneaky pawn on c5. Yeah. No, but that was a good idea, though. <laughs> I should get my queen out, though, I think. Because my queen hasn't really been doing anything. <laughs> but I can't, really. I could only move it to e7. Because that is the only not-attacked position. Not the only the only not-attacked square. Exactly, so, yeah. So maybe I should do that. Yeah, that's a, that's a good move, queen e7. Mm -hmm. That's a safe move. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll do the same thing. I'll just keep on putting my ricks in there. Okay. Um. Hmm, I'm a bit scared. Wait, was that smart? Um. What? Oh, what if I, okay, what if I move my rook? Because now my rook is obviously attacked by two pieces. Um, so what if I move my rook on a8 just to b8, so it's not attacked, and if you move down, I can take, then you take, then I take, and that's a better, better trade? Just to be safe? Oh, yes, yes, so, yeah, okay, no, yeah, I, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's a, like, that's, that's a very, I mean, rook b8 is, is, like, a good move. The only problem with going to rook b8 is that you know how I was telling you how like it's important to keep 
uh, to have control of the open files. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I would give that away. Exactly, you would give that away by going rook b8. So, in this position, how many pieces are threatening your rook? Um, one. And then if I would were to take two, so like it, it would be a trade. It would definitely be a trade. Exactly, it would just be a trade. Yeah. And like a trade is probably better than giving control of this whole file. Okay. So you shouldn't be scared of me taking on a8 and trading there. You shouldn't be scared of me doing that. Okay. Um, because we're protecting with like the equal amount of pieces. So I'm protecting, or you're protecting with two, sorry, and I'm attacking with two. Mm -hmm. So I think that you should go on with the plan that you had before. You had a really awesome plan. Uh, uh, still to take the, the knight? I don't remember. Exactly, yeah. yes, exactly, okay. exactly. You wanted to get rid of that knight. I think you should do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, how will I do that? How will you get rid of my horrible, horrible, and very annoying knight on e5? Okay, I need to have a, a master plan here. So, what I am thinking, that, that might be very stupid, but what I am thinking is the pawn... So, I can't move my bishop right now. Because if I were to move my bishop, if I were to take with my bishop, uh, then you would take with your pawn and so on and so on. I am thinking to get, huh, wait, I had an idea, I lost my idea. First, you, wait. you said your idea, was, your idea was good. I was thinking to take the pawn on c5. Yeah. With my bishop, uh, by moving my rook up to a6 and then protecting that my bishop with the rook, because now my queen isn't attacked anymore by the by the knight, so I can move my. Can I move? Yeah, I can move my bishop. And then I I can take. No, I can't take. What am I thinking? Oh God, my brain! It hurts. Um, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, because because I wanted to move my queen. I wanted to move my queen up to d6. That was my plan. So my plan is to move the rook up. Uh, to wait to 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 a to a six, then move the bishop up to b six. Uh, take the pawn, even though it's protected. I will think about that uh, later. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> think about that later. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then move the queen up to d six to take the the. <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't work. <laughs> That's that it doesn't work. <laughs> I love how I love how like like well thought and like long the plan was. It was a very 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 complex plan. Here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could have worked, didn't. But you know, <laughs> it was good to think about it. <laughs> no, it was it was a very complex plan. I like it. Um, <laughs> so so wait so. The problem with going rook a6 is, once again, the same idea as before. How many pieces are attacking the rook on a6 and how many are protecting it, if you go there? Um, attacking two, two, it would be a trade again. But, yeah, it would just be a trade again, I think, yeah. So I would be attacking it with two pieces. How many pieces would you be defending it with? Oh, no. No, with one. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I can't move with my pawn. pawn down. Yeah, with one. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, if the pawn can move down, then that that would be that would be awesome. Imagine yeah. if I just like pull that, that move in a game. You're just like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting the pawn down here. Yeah. Look at how awesome I am. <laughs> I can do this. You can, but I can. <laughs> that would actually be like the best moment of 2021 if mm -hmm. that happened um <laughs> yeah so that's the issue with rook a6 I but see. otherwise it's like a good idea to try to double up the rooks and stuff here but that's the issue with going rook a6 mm -hmm. but you wanted to get rid of the knight but you said that the bishop couldn't take because then the pawn 
Then, then what happened? If the bishop takes it, what happens? Why do you not want to take it? If the it? bishop takes it, the pawn would take it. The pawn, probably the pawn on e4, because it would then also threaten my my knight. Yes. yes and that's... I really need my knight because my knight is pretending, uh, pr pretending, <laughs> protecting. <laughs> Sorry, English. My knight is protecting the square uh, h7, which is, uh, yeah, the square that you need. To get me into checkmate <laughs> or to check at least all right yeah no that's uh, that makes sense i think that the thing here is that it doesn't really matter if i check you as long as i don't checkmate you mm -hmm. so one check is actually not dangerous at all okay. I, it's it's not dangerous at all if if the queen and the bishop would trade places so like if the queen was where the bishop is right now and then if the bishop is Worse, where the queen is right now, then that would be a complete disaster for me. Yeah. That would be a checkmate. Yeah. But because it's the bishop that is checking, that's not gonna be, that's not gonna be anything dangerous at all for you. Like you will just move the king to h8, and then the bishop will have a really bad position on h7. So, actually, you want me to do that check? That check would not be good for me. Oh, okay. Because I oh, maybe would, I yeah, can even you would lose just the bishop. lose it. Yeah, you could just lose it. After like g6, I could just like trap the bishop. So the bishop is not really doing anything good on h7 there. Okay. So. So, so you should, shouldn't be scared. So I should just take that knight with my bishop? Just take it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the knight isn't like that important right now. Mm hmm. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go with the same ideas before. I'm just gonna take all the pawns to the center. Um, okay. And here I want you to start attacking me. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I will pro I will move my queen to c7. So I'm attacking your pawn. How about you protecting it? I'm protecting it, that's the issue. Hmm. I can't take it with my knight. Where could I move? I can oh! Uh, if I move my knight to g4, I would attack it. And then I could move... Uh, but it's, it's a pawn versus knight versus queen trade, which is not worth it. Um... If knight g4? Yeah, if, if then you wanna yeah. If knight g four, uh, I would I could take the the pawn. Then you would take the pawn. And if I had my queen at c seven, uh, I could take the the other pawn. But that would be a knight trade against two pawns. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if the queen was here, then after takes, and you would. Yeah. <gasps> Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just do this as an analysis board. It's fine. I'll invite you to the analysis. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I was no so slow. No worries. <laughs> I typed like I, I like put I I typed I pushed every single keyboard here. Oh. Okay. All good. All good. All right. We're just going to do a live anas analysis. I'll just invite you to it. Mm -hmm. So and then we can keep on playing there. The time didn't really matter anyway. Okay. So. Um, so, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Good. Um, like this. Okay, so can you... Actually, this will be better, because then you'll be able to, like, actually look at uh, my arrows and stuff. Mm -hmm. so this will be better. Okay. Um... Wait, I think it's bugged for me. Oh, there we go. Um, Can you see the position now? Yeah, yeah, I'm at the last move now. Okay, awesome. All right. We're going to pretend that never happened. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, yeah, so you wanted to go knight g4 here. Um, you wanted to go knight g4 here. You yeah. can, can you see my arrow? Yeah, I can. Good. Then this is even better. This was just a blunder into something better. Mm -hmm. 
exactly. <laughs> so knight g4 is actually a really, a really good move. Uh, but not because you're attacking the pawn on e5, that pawn is protected, but because of something else. What do you think the other thing is? Um... I mean, I'm, I'm attacking the other knight, or uh, the other pawn. Exactly. And then, oh, and then I'm attacking the queen. Exactly, yes, so you're just attacking this pawn. And there's no pawn protecting it. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, okay, so I should have gone knight g4 anyways. Yeah, that was a good move, that was a really good move. It had a little, well... Because of this threat, actually, the one on e3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You always want to try to attack pieces that are undefended. So we can see that this pawn on e3 is undefended right now because there's no pawn on f2. Mm -hmm. So, um, so this knight is really well placed on g4. Also, there's no like pawn that can kick away the knight there. Mm -hmm. So that's a good move. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be... I'm scared, you're attacking my pawn. No. I'm gonna go ahead and defend the pawn somewhere. I'm gonna go here to defend the pawn. Okay. Um... Is there any way for you to keep on attacking my pawn? I could place my queen uh, on g5. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's a really good move. <laughs> that's awesome so now you're just attacking my pawn with two pieces and I'm only defending mm -hmm. it with one mm -hmm. so I need to do something about that mm. okay I'm gonna go ahead and defend this pawn I'm gonna bring a rook in here I'm gonna go okay. here defending okay. it okay Mm. Oh, okay. So now it's starting to look a little bit scary for me. And you, you got both your knight and your queen like right in front of my king here. Yeah. It's, I'm getting scared. In fact, you have right now a pretty cool move. Um, because I want you to attack me. Is there any way you can see how you can attack me here? Huh. If you could place your queen anywhere on the board, is there any place you would want to place it? Like if you could just like, if the queen could fly, if you could just like add wings on the queen or something and it could fly, is there any place you would want to put it? Um, probably here? No, because then it's attacked, right? But almost, yes. Yes, there we can't go because it's attacked by two pieces, but very close. Here? Okay, that's actually, okay, that's actually really <laughs> true. That one is really good. You want to be able to take that one. <laughs> but I'm thinking of a square where there is no piece, like an empty square. Here. If you place the queen there, what happens? Um, I I will have control over these squares. That's really good. I want to have control over all the squares, like um, around the king. But the issue is that if you place the queen on f three, then my pawn can take it. Oh so yeah, true. You can just take it. True. Never mind. Um. But you're seeing it, you're like wanting to place your queen where my king is, is attacked. But there's, you're, you've literally said every square my, besides one. Oh, that's the one. Uh, um, you're so close. This one? No, no, cause then it's attacked too. Ah, um, um, um. <laughs> you're so close, you're so close. This one. Because this one isn't attacked by anything. 
Is it not? Is it not? Uh, I don't see it. Oh, it is! It is! It is! <laughs> Sneaky um, Bishop. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't close know. Close to a king. You want it to be close to a king, right? You yeah. You want it to be close to a king. What square is there in front of the king that's not attacked? Like, where you don't lose your queen, basically. Here. So you said F2. Exactly. H2. Really good. Yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so if you would be able to place the queen on H2 with check, then the only place that the king could go to would be to F1. Mm -hmm. That's the only square way where the king would be able to go to. Mm -hmm. But then after that, I mean, like, I'd be able to check here on h1, and then I'd be able to start... Or, sorry, me, I'm just taking your place. No, you, <laughs> you would be able to start doing that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then you'd be able to... Oops. Oh, my arrows are horrible. Oh, oh no oh, worries. Okay. My, mine are always horrible. I always misclick them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're so difficult. Yeah. Um, then I could take the pawn on g2, that's at least what I wanted to get with this. I could take the pawn on g2, and then, I mean, yeah, I it, it would be a pretty bad priority for me. My king would end up on d1, and typically a king in the center, when there's a queen and knight attacking it, is not really great. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yes, you want to try to get the queen to h2. Is there any way you can try to do that right now? I can move it to h5. Yes. And then ultimately, like, yeah, move it. Yes. To okay. Awesome. And you know the sad thing about this for me? Mm hmm It's that I can't stop you from going to H2. Yeah, because you can't move there. Exactly. I... Check. Yeah. So I can't do anything about that, like... The queen is going to h2 whether I like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can I do instead? Mm, okay, I don't want to. I don't want to lose immediately, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to not lose immediately here. Mm -hmm. So. Mm, okay, so this is the threat right now. This is what you'll be able to do. Mm hmm. hmm. And if I go, let's say that I went bishop here. Mm -hmm. Then there's a checkmate for you. Yeah, because you can move your uh, your king anywhere. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. Mm. Hmm. To be honest, I'm struggling in this position. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we gotta do the best out of this. Yeah. Um, I believe in you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lose this pawn wh whatever I do, I think. I don't see how I can stop myself from... But I feel like if I take that pawn, you can take it you can take my queen with your queen, right? No, because whenever you take the pawn, you'll only take the pawn when my king is on e2. Um, which oh, so you can't take it. Mm. Exactly, which is blocking uh, the I protection see. from the queen. I see. So. Okay, actually I have... Or no. Oh, that's pretty. Wait a second. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna start by taking there. Let's see. Let's just start. Oh. With okay. Um. I'll do this. You'll take back. That's great. You want to take back with the rook because you want to activate it. Yeah. So now we're back to the problems. <laughs> 
I looked through your plan. <laughs> you did, you did. Mm. All right, so I have one idea. Which is to go night here. Do you, do you... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. Mm. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. So, all right, this is not looking good for me. Mm -hmm. Um, but what are you thinking? Um, I'm trying to see what you, what your plan is with moving the night there. Now you are, yeah, you moved it here. Um, so yeah. you are protecting these two squares. Yes. Exactly. Why but do you if, think it's good to protect these? Um, if I move my queen here, then it would still be a check, right? Yeah. Yes. Even though you're protecting it. Um, if you, if it's here, huh? Huh? I don't know. It's exactly what you're saying though. I mean, I'm defending these two squares. I'm trying to defend this pawn, uh -huh. but I'm also trying to block whatever check with a knight on G1. So I'm just trying to block your checks with, with a piece. Instead of me running away, I want to stay on F1. So I want to just block the check with a, with a piece. So whenever your queen gets here, my king is there. I want to be able to move my knight to G1. I see. But I thought I should move my queen here. Yes, so that's... Oh, you, you, yeah. oh, I see. But I, I need to, I obviously need to move here to get the, this pawn. Yes, exactly. So that's the first check, but then you and have the second check. So. Right, and you're protecting this one now. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so if I move, if I move this here, you need to move this here. Um... But yeah, and then I can move here and then you move here. If I go there, then what happens? Um, is that a check? Yeah, that's, oh no, yeah, you can't move there. That would be a checkmate. No, you can't. You couldn't move there because my knight's protecting it. Yeah. Exactly. The knights are really just—they're my favorite pieces, but they're the type of piece where you have a love and hate relationship with. <laughs> <laughs> you like it when you can play it, but not when the enemy can play it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay. Um. So I'm trying to see what you what you did with your knight, but you. I think I should still go on with the plan. That's a great thing that you're doing. You're going on with the plan. You don't really care about what I'm doing because I mean, to be honest, like I just have a bad position. I'm just trying to defend here. Mm -hmm. So it's good that you're going on with the plan because that's, it's a good plan mm -hmm. because my king is just becoming very unsafe. Mm -hmm. And here you can see the problem with having double pawns in front of the king that, um, I mean, the king just becomes very weak, and these two pawns become very weak as well. Mm -hmm. Because you, there is no pawn that can protect the pawns, it's basically just pieces. Mm -hmm. So, you want to try to avoid having the exact position that I have right now, mm -hmm. basically. So I'll just go king f1, that's the only move I have. Okay, then I'll yeah. go here. Good. And here you can see that, uh, like in this position, one of the ideas of having the knight here is that here you couldn't capture my pawn on g3 because the knight would take the queen then. Right. I see. So after this check, I'm gonna go on with my plan, which is to protect. Okay. 
I'll take. Wait, before you take, if you take here, then how many pieces are attacking and how many pieces are protecting? Um. Wait, is any is it? Oh, oh, your queen. I I didn't see a queen. Exactly, both oh. the queen and the king actually. Yeah. Oh well, that's okay. You can take. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other idea what you can have done instead? There's, there, you know, there's one thing which is really good, which is to always look at all of the checks in a position. So just, you know, very quickly, just look, th look through every single check in this position. Um, what uh, checks do you have in this position? This one, if I took the knight. Yeah, but that would give me a queen, right? So yes. then that would not be good for you. Um... Oh, if I if I went here, but yeah, then you would just take it again. Yep. Um. I think that's all. I don't really see any any others. There's one more. Um. Once again, the knights are very sneaky. They can do. They can jump around a lot. Oh, if I went here. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> no, it's a good thing to think about. You always look at all of the checks in a position. So, mm -hmm. I mean, some of the checks are stupid because they just don't give you anything or they might make you lose material. But always look at them and then just say, all right, mm -hmm. I looked at them, check. Then I'm going to do the next thing here. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes. Yeah, so if you go knight h2, then my king is going to be in a lot of trouble. You can try doing that move. Yeah, he can only move here. No, can he move here? Yeah, he can also move there. Yes. I can go to both places, but there's a little issue, which we'll see now. So, all right, do you want to go 92? Um, mm, no, 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 no. I did, I did this mistake. I, I, will, I will continue with this mistake. That's okay. <laughs> okay, you, you, are you sure you want to continue with it? Yeah. Okay, all right. But I can just show you, well, uh, I can just show you, like, what would have happened if 92? Maybe we can say that this is okay. a move, but... I okay. can just show you what would have happened with knight h2. Okay. Um, because after this move, um, after this move, then if the king goes up to e2, mm -hmm. because I can only go king f2 or king e2, right? Yeah. So if the king goes to e2, then what 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 happens here do do you have any idea of what you could do here um if you look at all of the pieces that are that you can take at this in this position yes i can take this and exactly. then i would check you again i would check exactly. may no i would check you i would check you you would check me but you would you would really check me like that would be a check that hurt uh-huh so we can actually look at it because you actually have one more thing, which is a pretty long tactic, but it's really cool. So, so I just want to show you that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here I would have to go here, and can you keep on checking me if you just think about all of the checks in this position? Um. Um. I can take this. Yeah, you can take that one. But then we would just exchange queens. I, you can win my queen now in like a few moves, but it, it's really difficult. So this is like a really, really, really difficult tactic. And I'm a horrible teacher for putting you through that. <laughs> that's I'm really okay. sorry, but. <laughs> I, that's the way I learn. That's the way I will learn. But it's, it's really cool. So just take your time. 
if you look at all of the checks in this position, you have this check, you have a few others as well. Okay. Um, oh, I have this one. Uh, no, sorry. This one. Exactly. Boom. Rookie one check. And so then, you go here. Yeah, and then you would have to move here. Yeah, exactly. That's my only move. Um, so I... Hmm. I could keep checking you with this one. Yes! And then... Oh, and then I can take the queen because you have to move either up or down. And then the queen isn't protected anymore. Exactly. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and then you would just... Because we're... This is called a discovery check. Mm -hmm. Please tell me that it's called a discovery check. I'm so bad with this. <laughs> anyway, um, so so then you would have this check, and then you're checking the king. But behind the king, there's a piece. There's the queen. So whenever the king moves, you can just take the queen, basically. Right. So yes. Um. So yes, that's that's the tactic, basically. Basically, you saw it. Mm -hmm. You're so ready now. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel a lot more ready. Honestly. <laughs> Okay, they're telling me it's not a discovery check. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, no. It's an x-ray. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Right. It's a skewer. Okay, all right. You know what? It just matters how you play, not how you speak about chess. Right, so right. Sorry. In the end, it all comes down to how you play. You can have all the knowledge of all the names, but if you don't know, if you don't know how to play, actually, then what, what does that knowledge do? Exactly. Words of wisdom right there, exactly. <laughs> no, that's really good. That's really good. So actually then I'm just um you or you're just yeah, you're just winning the game basically because you're just gonna win my queen, which is mm -hmm. worth nine points. It's the best piece. So mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Well I think that was that was that was really good that you found it. That was mm -hmm. really impressive. Wow. Thank that was really you. good. So yeah, and then that was what happened if I went up with the king to e2. Mm -hmm. And then if I went, so then I could just think, okay, but I'm just going to go king f2 instead. Because I want to keep my pawn on g2. Okay. Um... And then, I mean, in this position, there's not really anything, like, immediate. But you could just keep on checking, basically. Um... With my knight? Exactly, yes. Okay. Do, do you know about the three rule repetition? Uh, yeah, I think if you, if you move the same sp spot three times, then it's a draw? Exactly, yes. Yeah. So if you get the same position three times, then it's a draw. Yeah. So here we could just go like back and forth and then it would be a draw. Right. Because you could just like keep on checking and then whenever you go to e2 or whenever your opponent goes to e2, you'd be like, mm -hmm. all right, I'm getting a queen. Queen takes mm -hmm. e2 and then you have this whole line that we looked at before. Right. To get you the queen. Um, so here it could, it would just basically be a draw because if you go up there, the king typically doesn't want to be like, you never want to put your king on the third file um like in the middle game when, when the queens are still there this king is gonna get checkmated uh -huh. so you never want to do that you always want to keep your king on the first file basically so mm -hmm. um so yeah i wouldn't dare to go to f3 so i would probably just go back to f1 and then you could just keep on checking basically right but i guess that that way i would then force a draw or you would force a draw exactly yeah exactly then it would just be a draw so how about we say that this game ended in a draw? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. By the way, just before you know, um, do you know what ampersand is? Uh, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'll just show you what that move is really quickly because I think that's good to remember. Mm -hmm. So, if you, if you go with your pawns two steps in the beginning. So if you move your pawns two steps in the beginning, mm -hmm. 
Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Sorry, this position then. Um, if you move your pawn two steps, then um, and there's a pawn like right beside it, mm -hmm. so just like this. So just you know, their buddies here, they're holding hands or something. I don't know. They're mm -hmm. right beside each other. Then this pawn can take it. Yeah. So did you? Oh, did you know about that? Oh, yeah. Uh, but it's very confusing. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, it's very confusing. It's very confusing. But I just thought it was good to. Just, you know, to, to remember that. Uh-huh. Yeah, because it's a possible move. Uh-huh. So. Right. Good. Well, we, we ended in a draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a good game. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I, I'm a lot more confident now. Are you? Yeah, so definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so... So yeah, I hope I hope you learned something from there. <laughs> for sure, for sure. At least you can remember to check or to always look at the checks. Mm -hmm. Not to check, but to always look at the checks, to um to try to gain control of, of you know open files. Um you already knew about all of the center and developing pieces stuff, so mm -hmm. so Oh, and always to look at how many pieces are protecting and attacking something to right. know if you should go there. Right. So yeah good yeah <laughs> well, i'll be looking forward to to watching or to to watching block champs now on saturday <laughs> i'm really looking forward to that <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to at least beat will that is going to be <laughs> my my own victory if i can beat will then i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna try and make it as far as i can but as long as i can beat will i'm gonna be happy <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's always so good to have a goal like that. Like, mm -hmm. as long as I beat this one person, then I'm <laughs> really happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be, yeah, I'll be, I'll be seeing if you do that. I'll be very happy if you do that. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. be, yeah, I'll be, I'll be smiling. <laughs> Even I will, if you can't see me, I'll do that. I will write you in my victory speech. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I feel very honored now. Uh -huh. <laughs> awesome. Well, do you, do you want to play some Minecraft now? Do you want to yeah. teach me that so that yeah. I maybe, if I ever win against someone in Minecraft, which I guess <laughs> you can, then I can write you in my victory speech. Right. Um, I do have a server set up. I just quickly need to start it. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you know how to? Like start everything and do everything. Um, sort. I mean, like to get into a server and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I was practicing that yesterday. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, just if if you could send me the 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 server, then I'll I'll try to get in there. And otherwise, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, let me just quickly see if it's actually up and running. I need to start the game real quick. Good thing is with Minecraft, there's not as much strategy. It's basically just doing whatever and trying to survive. <laughs> I love that. I really do. I played so much Sims when I was growing up, and mm -hmm. like, okay, and every time I say or I've said, I don't know. Do you feel like there's any resemblance between Sims or Minecraft, or is that like completely off? Hmm. No, not really, because you have your own world and you can, you know, do in your own world what you want. I do get that. Um, I played a lot of Sims growing up too, so. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. Did Which one did you play? Sims 3. Mm -hmm, me too. Yeah, I played Sims 2 and Sims 3. I played a lot. Oh my god, I just joined and there was a creeper. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> that's the green one, right? That's the yeah, green that's one. the the things that explode. Um, <laughs> you can join though. Let me know if there's a white list on. It's on version one point sixteen point four. If you know how to, I, it should be the just the newest version. Uh, so it oh. should already be set up. Okay, awesome. You know, yesterday when I was buying Minecraft, out of mistake, I bought the Xbox version. Oh no! <laughs> Stupid of me. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, there's so many versions of Minecraft now, it's annoying. <laughs> like you have to like make sure to buy the right one. <laughs> it took so 
so long. Oh. It literally took me like 40 minutes. I felt so stupid. Oh no. <laughs> I remember um, when I might buy, bought Minecraft, so like back in, I don't even know, 2000. Years ago, years ago. But I had to buy it in English, and back then I didn't know how to speak English. So I, tr- I tried to, uh, to get my mom to help me, and we were both just struggling trying to buy Minecraft because we both didn't speak English that well. And it took us so long to finally buy it. <laughs> I totally get that. Yeah. <laughs> Did they not have it in German then? I don't think so, no. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. <laughs> the game itself, they had it, had it in German, but not, not the side to buy it. Oh, no. That's so sad. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I go into single player or do I go into uh, multiplayer? No, you go into multiplayer. Okay. Um, yeah, right. You, you click multiplayer and then uh, you click on to, to add server. Yeah. And uh, server name you can just keep. That doesn't really matter. And to server address, you just copy paste what I sent you. Yeah, awesome. Okay. And then try to join. If you are whitelisted, then you got to tell me and I'll, I'll write your name on the whitelist. But I would need your name then. Okay. Um, okay, it says that it's pinging right now. Okay. Should be fine. <gasps> Does it work? Oh, logging in. Fail to connect to the server. You're not whitelisted on this server. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your, your in-game name? Anna Crumbling. Okay. So just my name. Um, together? Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. You should be able to join now. Spawned at night. I will set it. Make it daytime. As soon as I got this guy. Okay, wait a second. I'm just gonna fix this. Oh no! I feel like I'm getting like eaten up right now or something. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'll set it to daytime. Oh, why is it? What difficulty is this on? Gosh. Um. Oh no! Did I get eaten up? Yeah, it's okay though, it's okay though. I set it to daytime, so they should be able to, they should burn now, yeah. I really had the feeling I was getting eaten up there. Oh, it's okay, yeah, we spawned at the worst time. <laughs> That's not your fault, uh, but you can just respawn. Okay, wait, sorry, I'm just, oh, respawn, That's okay. oh. Okay, there take we go. Take your time, take your time. So, okay. Oh no, I died too. Why do they all have stone swords? Okay, back to game. All right, here we go. Okay, hello, hello. Hello, oh, hello. Careful. Oh no, there's just that? zombies everywhere. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Wait, I'm just. Okay, okay. Now they are. They're dead. Okay. Whoo! Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> Did you Nothing. fix everything? Is everything working? So, okay, I think, okay, I think that now everything should be working. Okay, awesome. Okay, yes. okay, so, um, the first thing you do whenever you join a world is you get wood. That's one of the most important things and the, the ground foundation for everything. So you just punch a tree uh, by clicking, by clicking uh, left click or holding left click. And that's how you punch a tree, you destroy it, and then you have wood. Oh, okay. Left click. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just hold. Ooh. Hold left click. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! I got wood! <laughs> Is it working? Oh, wait. Uh, oh, I think you... Oh, I think we have spawn protection. Okay, we need to walk a little bit. Uh, let's, okay. let's walk. Let's walk this direction. Oh, okay, do wait. You know, just wait, do you know how to work with WASD? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. And then with space, you jump and and stuff. Yeah. We. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One second. Let me just go ahead and uh, just fix one little very quick thing. Um. So. Oh, okay, great, there we are. Now we are, now I'm fully in this. Okay. All right, <laughs> perfect, okay. Um, Let's watch. Can you, can you try to punch this tree? Yeah. Um, we Still not working. Okay, we need to walk further. Uh, there is a thing that we have spawn protection, which means when you spawn, uh, whenever, wherever you spawn, you can't uh, destroy anything. So we need to walk a bit away from it. So maybe oh, wait. here. Oh, oh, wait. There's a block <laughs> above you. Okay, now it should work. <laughs> yeah, you can only jump one you. one block, and there was there was a tree above you. So I got yeah. so scared. I thought I didn't know how to jump anymore. Oh, no. like, Step one of this, Hannah. <laughs> oh god! All good. All good. Okay. So okay. here we can. Wait. Uh, what's yeah, this is working. What's the spawn? Uh, the spawn is where you where you join the game, and when you die, you you will end up there again. Oh, oh! So then we couldn't. We had to walk like away from the spawn. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. Exactly. Okay. Um. So once you got wood, uh, what you what you then do is press E. With E, you have your you have like this this whole. Th this little screen on on your screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and where you see crafting, you you can take your you can take your spruce wood with left click and put it in there with right click right, right click into yeah. the little four squares. Whoop. Oh, into these four squares. Okay, mm -hmm. there. Yes. And then uh, out come spruce planks, and that is your foundation for a crafting table because right now you only have these little four little four squares that that allow you to craft but once you made a crafting table uh, which i just oh, made yes uh, you can open it with with right click here oh yeah you, you close the inventory with e again by pressing e again oh okay yes right and then if you if you click on this you will see you will see a bigger square which is three by three instead of two by two here. Wait, is it if I click on like the thing where you're standing? Uh huh. With with oh, is it not working? With right click. Oh, and then I get three by three. Yeah. Yes, yes, no, and with yes, good. That you can craft, and that is basically the 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 thing you need for playing Minecraft. That is uh, one of the only things you need to remember when starting to play Minecraft is crafting. Uh, but the good thing is all the recipes are in this little green book. If you press that green book. You can yeah. see all the recipes and the more items you get the more uh, recipes you unlock ah mm -hmm. okay wow that's really cool so wait so here i can see what is this a stick a spruce pressure thing okay mm -hmm. oh, and these are like staircases and stuff so you can build houses yeah yeah we can build a house if you want to yes i'd love that okay um, that was always my favorite part of Sims. I was building the houses. houses. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I was always so bad at it. I always my houses always looked the same, and uh, I I enjoyed playing with the with the families more. <laughs> and I made like little stories. <laughs> no, like okay, actually the same for me. I just thought that like. I was good at building, but then I just realized that I was really bad because all my houses looked the same. <laughs> yes. So at the end, it was just a family that we're playing with. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. But you know the one where you could have a hotel, where you could own a hotel. The part. Yeah. The, yeah. I think that was that the one, one was that. Really fun. Yeah, it was. I really liked it, but I think that was the one that broke The Sims Three. I think after that, it was just unplayable. But yeah. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. No, that is that is true. I just like the fact that you could have your own hotel. That was everything I wanted. Yeah, that was so cool. Okay. 
Um, what I, I will teach you a bit more and then we can go to creative mode and actually build a house. But, um, okay, once you have a crafting table, um, you, you go in there again. And do you ha have spruce planks in your inventory? You should be. You should have spruce logs or spruce planks in your inventory. The um, yes. wood. Uh, if you put one spruce planks over the other in like two two squares, you will get sticks. Oh, so like in crafting? Yeah, in crafting. So take them with left click, put them in with right click, and then you can take the sticks out with left click. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Um, and then you normally start, oh, it's raining. You normally start with, oh, you dropped them. Wait, I'll give them to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, Yay. you normally start by making a pickaxe because if you get a pickaxe, you can get stone and with stone, you can make better tools. Uh, so it's basically just about getting better tools, upgrading your tools. Um, uh, and that's the mine part of the of Minecraft. You have crafting and then you have mining, which is just getting better tools, getting better upgrades and stuff like that. So I'll tell you how to make a pickaxe. Um, you go into the crafting again, to the crafting yeah. bench. Uh, and you, you take your sticks and you place them uh, in the bottom middle and in the in the middle middle. Right? Wait, in the bottom middle, like in of the, the four squares? Yeah, of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, three by three of the the big crafting table. Oh, that I'm standing okay. On. Yeah, okay, I understand. Okay, mm -hmm. so okay, I'm just gonna leave there, and then I'll go here, and then I'll do that. Right, and then you take spruce planks. And wait, so wait, the, so the sticks where where the, were they gonna be? The sticks, the sticks are gonna be in the in the bottom middle and in the middle middle. Oh, there we go. Yes. And then you t you take the spruce planks and you put them in uh in all three of the top squares. And then you should get a wooden pickaxe out of it. Ooh. Yeah, I got it. Right? Nice. Did you take it out of the yeah. inventory? Good. Uh, or you no. can. Oh no. You might have to do it again then. Wait, should I just drop it then? Uh, no, you can you can take it with uh, with left click and you can just um, drag it to your to your bottom uh, bottom row of your inventory, like of the of the uh, most down row, like at the bottom. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because if you leave then with E, uh, you will have it in your down in your in your inventory. Like you you see these you see the little squares. With your stuff in them, yeah. Um, and if you if you scroll with your mouse mouse wheel, you can scroll over them and and, and equip them. Ooh. Wait. So wait. Do I need to click on anything first before I use my mouse wheel? Um. No. You just you just use your mouse wheel. <laughs> Is it doing anything right now? Uh, no. Wait. Are you in your inventory? Are you? Yeah. Oh yeah, you need to go out of your inventory. Just go into a oh. normal mood. And then you can equip your stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, next thing, I'll show you how to update something. And then we can go on to building something. Awesome. Um, uh, uh, normally, in every world, you will have uh, your ground. Uh, there's different biomes. This one is a spruce wood, I think, biome. Uh, I can show you the different biomes too, but normally there's there's always like grass or sand or or whatever on the on the first few layers, on the first few blocks, and then once you build down, normally you can the first uh, layer you can normally build down with your hands. Uh, once you build down, you will soon find stone, which is here, and th Ooh. that's coal. The black one is coal, which you also need to. Um, you can m make furnaces and then you can smelt your food, uh, smelt your, your iron, for example, and your gold uh, and, and cook your food. So this one is stone, which you will need to upgrade stuff. And oh, so cool. this one is iron that you're standing on. Uh, coal, yeah. sorry. That, that's coal that you're staying, standing on. And that you will need for... Oh yeah, just, just keep uh, left mouse button uh, pressed 
when you want to mine something. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, and uh, the recipe for the pickaxe, for the stone pickaxe, is the same as um, the wood pickaxe, except uh, when you use the spruce planks, you actually use cobblestone. So you still use two sticks and three cobblestone to make... Um, wait, I'm gonna quickly let you do that. Uh, to make a new pickaxe. How much wood do you have? Uh, actually, I'll, I'll give you everything. There. Okay. This is all you need. Wait, sorry, I picked it up. Oh, why am I picking it up? Wait, one second. Uh, Does it automatically pick up when we're close to it? Yeah, yeah. But you should have it now. Okay, so now you can go into the crafting table again, which is in front of you. Or in front of me. Yeah. Here. Okay. And then you can try to... Oh, no, no, don't mind it. Don't mind it. Just go oh. into it. Just go into the crafting. <laughs> sorry. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, that's how we did no it. worries. I might be a bit quick. I'm sorry. No. I, might, I might be a bit quick here. I was already destroying it. <laughs> can you do that? Can you, like, mine down the crafting table and then you need to do everything again? Um, if you mine down the crafting table, then you will have it in your inventory. And you can just place it again and then you have the crafting table. Uh, oh, okay. Again, yeah. It's just a block that you mine and it's a block again. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm here now. Okay, do you remember how you made the pickaxe? Um, was that the one where we had the two sticks? The sticks. And, yeah, exactly. Yes, and the three woods on top. Exactly, and instead of this three wood, you do three cobblestone. Okay. So three stone. So we just do like this and then cobblestone. Oh no, that's the whole point. We need one more. And then we have a stone pickaxe. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And that's how you update. Uh, and it's basically, you start off with wood, you take stone, uh, with stone you get iron, then you smelt the iron in a, in a furnace, which, um, yeah, which I, I, can, I can show you how to make a furnace, actually. Uh, that's what you need the coal for, too. You need the iron and coal. Um, I'll give you the cobblestone. Okay. I, I'll yeah. just, yeah. Uh, and then you go into crafting again. Yeah. Uh, in, 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 in the crafting table, sorry. It's, you mostly use the crafting oh. table. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then you fill all of the squares except for the one in the middle. With? With cobblestone. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And then you should get a furnace. Ooh, we got it! <laughs> Yay! Okay, you can put it into your into your hot bar, into your lowest lowest row. Wait, a furnace is that like an oven? Yeah, it's an oven, exactly. Uh, okay. Oh, good. Yeah, it did look, I did. I was gonna say it looked like a pizza oven. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it kind of is like a pizza oven because you can also cook meat in it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and if you have it, if you have it equipped, you can place it by pressing uh, right click on a block next to you. Wait. Wait, um, wait that was the wrong block. Um, wait, you can maybe. press it. Yeah, yeah. You, we need a bit, a bit, a bit of space. You can, you can do it there. Okay. Into the hole. Uh, wait. I, I keep on clicking E. It's okay. And like this. Oh, you, you, you should, uh, you can't stand on the block that you want to place it on. So, uh, if you, if you hover over, uh, if you like look down, you can see how, uh, the block is a little bit outlined. And if you look to another block, it's a little bit outlined. Yeah, exactly. And you just can't stand on the same block. And now you oh, placed it. Good. Are we yeah. trapped here now? Uh, we can, we can always just build up. That's okay. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, and now if you go in there, you can see that there's there's three squares, two little ones and a big one. Um, wait, I'm gonna... In the crafting one again? I uh, don't know, no, in the furnace. You can see the squares. Oh, oh yes. Um, I'm gonna quickly give, give me um, some iron blocks. Oh. oh, no, that's not what I wanted to give me. Sorry, wait. Uh, 
is it called? Iron ore? Ore? Yeah. Okay. So this is this is what iron ore looks like. Oh. And yeah. it looks it looks very similar to coal, and you just mine it the same way you mine coal. If you are in the furnace now, you can put it into the into the top, uh, it, like into the highest highest square exactly, yeah. and then we put the coal into the bottom one, and it it creates fuel. And then it smells oh. to iron, and if you get three of those, you can make an, an iron pickaxe. Wow, and that's there's so also cool. yeah, and there's also swords and axes and shovels that you can craft for different things. Swords obviously to fight, axes to cut down trees, and shovels to um, mine dirt faster or to mine uh, sand or gravel faster. So different blocks take different uh, different tools. Oh, that's so cool. I'm really liking Minecraft. Like, while you're explaining all of this, I'm really just in my head just <laughs> thinking that I should switch to Minecraft career. At some oh. point. <laughs> I mean, I'm really we liking can, this. We can definitely play more Minecraft at some time. I can show you, <laughs> at least try to show you how to, how to beat the game because there is an end game. You have to kill a boss to basically fin like, finish the game or, or end the game. But uh, it's mostly just about... Uh, building and crafting and mining, you know, just surviving and having fun. Oh, uh, is that wait? Is that the survivor survival mode then? Yeah, we're right now in the survival mode. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, and then there's also the creative mode, which I will show you in a bit. I think I I showed you like the basic principle of Minecraft. I don't want to show you too much the first time because it is a lot to take in. So now yeah. you know how to get the first resources, how to upgrade your weapons and upgrade your tools. Um, and if you want to, I can we, we can we can now build something. Yeah, let's do that. All let's right. do it. So I will give you I will give you creative mode. Here we go. Now you should uh, your hearts should have disappeared. Uh, down in your in your Oh yeah. Uh ah uh, I will teach you. I will teach you that next time, uh, because there's also hearts and hunger, like health and hunger. Um, but that's basically just you need to you need to t uh, make sure that you eat enough, that you have enough food in your inventory, um, and make sure that your your hearts stay stay up. If you press, if you double click your space bar now, you can fly. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and if you if you uh, press it again, if you hold it, you will fly up. And if you if you hold shift, then you will fly down. That's so pretty. The sky is yeah. so pretty. Yeah, the sun's setting right now. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then you can oh, so while cool. you're hover like while you're flying, you can press W A S D and you will go. And you should double press again. Yeah, and then you you can press W A S D and you can go forwards and sidewards and backwards. So can you like create any amount of houses in the whole place? Yeah, you can you can build everywhere you want. You can go everywhere you want. The world is almost almost endless and it does not just look like this. Uh, as you can see, yeah, if you go forward, there's an ocean uh, in front of us. There's a little bit of a beach here. Um, we have there's different biomes. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so you, then you can play with like all of the different biomes and stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna make it daytime again. <laughs> These things look so funny when they're just like running around. In the <laughs> yeah, air. yeah, they're just running in the air. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I'm gonna get to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is really cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, is that like underwater? Oh yeah, there's like there's a lot of things you can find underwater too. There's like temples you can find, and there's also dolphins in the water sometimes. No. Mm -hmm. And coral reef, coral reefs. They're really pretty. Wow. Mm -hmm. Can you be underwater or? Um. Now, right now you can. Uh, you will also not get attacked by any by any monsters right now. Um, I'll I'll tell you about the monsters too. Um. So right now you can go underwater, and you will and you won't lose air. Normally, when you go in survival mode, you will lose air. But since we're in creative mode, there's basically nothing that can attack us or kill us. Yeah. Mhm. Mm 
Okay, that's so cool. Yeah, and that's. Are these like considered a monster? Or is this just like a normal? Uh, this is a okay. this is a squid. It won't attack you. Uh, you okay. can kill it, but uh, it gives it only gives you ink sacs, which you only need for certain things. Oh, yeah, okay. but they're they're uh, not mean. They don't attack you. They don't deal any damage. <laughs> they're looking <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we can fly around a bit and look at the different biomes so you can see like the different places that Minecraft has and what it looks like. Also, if you press E, you'll have a lot more blocks. Wow. Mm -hmm. These are all the blocks of Minecraft. You can, you can in the little tabs uh, on top, you can just, you can look around. What there is what they have oh they're so pretty there's mm -hmm. so many different colors and stuff yeah Pink wool the purple purple block that looks so cool <laughs> yeah block of diamond wow and so you can build any house with like all of these blocks so you don't need to get them in the game before um well in in this game mode you can you can do it uh mm. just with your inventory but normally if you if you want to build a house in survival, you would have to get all of the blocks. And will this, like, let's say that we build a house in creative mode, will then, or creator mode, mm -hmm. would then that house still be there in survival mode? Um, yeah, we can we can go back into survival mode and then that house is there. Uh, oh, because okay. this is just, this is one server. Uh, and on this server, we're right now in survival mode, I, uh, creative mode. I can set you in survival mode and then you are, uh, you, you get uh, your health back and your hunger back, which means you will have to take care of that again and you will get attacked by monsters again. So this is kind of like a, a, cheat, um, a, a cheat mode, I guess. If you play in survival, you usually don't have this this mode. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah. I understand. <laughs> it, dep it depends on how you play the game because there's a lot of people who only play the game to build and they are mostly in, in creative mode and just build really big and cool houses. That's really cool how you can choose what you want to do with the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. There's so many approaches you can take to it. There's PvP players who who focus on on being really good at PvP, so killing other other people. And and there's builders and there's speedrunners which focus on beating the game as quick as possible and and all that all that different stuff yeah yeah you can really do so many things with the game wow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, really look at this fish yeah so cute that's a big one <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay well um so what else is there underwater is it just uh the squid and the fish or uh, dolphins you said as well yeah yeah there's dolphins uh basically the underwater world is like the overwater world but underwater so there's also there's like caves here as you can see this is a cave down here um and like i said there's temples and there sometimes also is shipwrecks uh which oh, give you yeah, yeah which if you give you different loot like different items some good some not so good um yeah i can see if i can find one there should be there they are uh pretty common i'd say not really but usually you see some um yeah in the temples uh if you play on survival mode there's monsters there that attack you and that make you weak but since we are in creative i can just show you Oh, that's so nice. That's so relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wander around the world. <laughs> yeah. I'm lost here, though. <laughs> uh, that's okay. That's okay. I can always teleport to you. So oh, you can just cool. you could just fly around and see if you find a cool place or anything that you find interesting and have questions about. In the meantime, this cave is really cool. Oh, are you in the cave? Yeah. Yeah. It's sad because mostly, like a lot of the times when you play. Uh, you don't really go into underwater caves because when you mine underwater, you mine a lot uh, slower and um, you also lose your your um, your breath. So you always need to get back to the surface or to um, to a place where there's air to get your breath back. 
are there places underwater where there is where you can breathe at all or is it every um, everywhere where you can not really you can uh like kind of cheat not really cheat but you know uh kind of abuse the game mechanics by uh placing a door and then it's going to be an air bubble so doors give you air bubbles um, oh yeah but there's not really any places. I also, I can't really find, oh, there you are. I can't really find a, a monument or anything. So, cause this is only, no this shipwreck. seems to be, no, no shipwreck. Seems to be only a lake or something. So I can't really see it. Ah, oh, it's so cool though. It looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. And what's this thing here? So if we go to the other side, like, or is this just like different? Oh yeah, this is just over water again, just normal, yeah. right? Because, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the clouds look really funny. Can you like jump on the clouds? Uh, no, you can't. You can fly <laughs> into them. <laughs> Wait, does that is does that look like flying into a real cloud? Let me let me check. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Actually, I guess we have because we've been on airplanes, obviously. True, but, um, true. Let me try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fly into the cloud. Yeah, sometimes the you can build buildings so big that you will be in, in the clouds, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's really like skyscrapers. skyscrapers. Yeah. Wait, I want to like see how this feels. Do they stop me? Oh, that's actually, oh, that's so cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Where are you? Uh, I'm just flying here. I can teleport you to me. There you go. Hello. Hello. I'm just I'm just looking for a good place where we could build our our house. Is that snow? Yeah, it's snow. And there's also oh, yeah. llamas here. Look, there's llamas here. Wait, where? Oh, here. Wait, uh, behind you. Oh no, wait. I'll I'll come to you. Behind you. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look <laughs> here. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome! <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of different different animals. There's there's cats and, and, and bunnies and dogs and pigs are here. The the, the these ones. <laughs> oh, that's uh, pigs and llamas and snow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very realistic. <laughs> I love it though. The llamas are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, All right, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Oh, the sunset is here again. Mm -hmm. um, mm, and what can you do with snow? Can you do anything specific with snow? Uh, you can build snowman. Wait, can uh, you actually? Uh huh. Wait, I'll show you. So if you, uh, if you use a shovel, and and you get snow, and you, you like you 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 farm the snow. Uh, you will you will get snow uh, snow what is it called snowballs, and with the snowballs you can make snow blocks, and if you place two snow blocks and a pumpkin, I think you need a carved carved pumpkin. Yeah, a pumpkin. You can make a snowman. Wait, is this a monster? Or is this like high in snowman? Uh, no, he's he's friendly. He does attack <laughs> monsters though, and he gets attacked by monsters. Ah, oh, but he's friendly. Yeah, he's okay. friendly. <laughs> he looks a little scary. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to make sure. I've actually never built a snowman in real life. So <gasps> really? Wait, but you live in Sweden. You have so much snow, don't you? I know. I know. Oh I, I'm God. actually born in Spain, but I can't even use that excuse because every winter I used to go to Sweden, so I can't even use that excuse. Oh, I used to live in Spain. You? Yeah, I used to live there, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We're in Spain. Uh, on Mallorca. No way. Uh -huh. That's so cool. Yeah. My, my dad grew up there. My uncle or oh. my like whole family from my dad lives there right now. So that's oh, that's really so cool. cool. 
That's cool. What a coincidence. Yeah. When did you move back to Germany? Uh, when I was 11. Oh, look, now they're, they're, they're fighting each other. The skeleton oh. and... Oh, he killed him. Oh, no. Yeah, they are, they are a lot stronger than the snowman. <laughs> oh, poor snowman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that's really cool. I actually also moved to Sweden when I was 11. Oh, but, really? Oh, yeah, from Spain? Really yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's really cool. So you speak Spanish? Yeah. 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 Me too. All right. So um, cool. Do you yeah. do you want to just keep flying and look for a cool place to build our house? Just yep. if you if you see something that that looks cool. Oh, this is a creeper, by the way. These are the green things that explode. But he he won't explode right now because we're in creative mode, so he doesn't attack us. But yeah, he explodes normally. So like, and then we explode with him, or what? Yeah, exactly. If you are really close to him. Uh, we will die if we the fur the f further away the less the least damage he does. But if you're like right next to him, yeah, he will kill you. And what happens if you die? Uh, you you can respawn, uh, and you will just uh d join where you where you started again. Or if you place a bed, you can place your spawn point uh by sleeping in it, and then uh you will you will come back to where you slept last. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like the game is completely over then. No, it uh if you play on hardcore, it will be. But uh normally you don't you don't play on hardcore. <laughs> you don't do that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I have a series where I play hardcore. <laughs> how, how did it go? Um uh I die a lot, <laughs> and I have to reset the world and start again. <laughs> yeah, this is a witch. This this person, they spot. They are very oh. rare, and they they throw potions at you when they attack you. Oh, that's so cool! Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, no, that's not cool if you're attacked by. A person, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there exactly. and then there's there's also spiders, which are the other mobs. Uh, they only attack you at night or when you're in a cave, and then obviously That's zombies. I think those are I think those are all the mobs that spawn uh, overground though: the witches, the zombies, the spiders, and the creepers. Those are the ones you you need to be careful for, and the skeletons. They shoot you. Ooh, yeah. Is there any skeleton? Oh, there, there, there it is. Yeah, there's oh, a we skeleton. We have all gathered up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They spawn. They all spawn at night. The skeletons and the zombies they burn uh, when it's daytime. I can, I can show you. Um, there, they will burn and then they will die. The spiders stop attacking you and the witch will still attack you though. Oh, Enderman. Yeah, there's also Enderman. I, I, oh, I will show you actually. Um, Enderman. This one. This this guy here, this is an Enderman. He he he'll go away. Uh, if you if you look him in the eye on survival, obviously this is all this is all creative, so he won't attack you. If you look him in the eye on survival, then he will attack you. Uh, only then he will attack you though. If you if you look to the ground, he won't attack you, and he can teleport. But he's scared of water, so if you go into water, you're usually safe. He also likes to take blocks, <laughs> so he's wearing this block now. <laughs> so he just ram randomly takes blocks? Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, and now he's, he's teleported away. He doesn't And like how us. does he attack you? Uh, he, if you, if you look him in the eye, wait, I will show you. Um, game mode, survival. If I look him in the eye now, he, he's, he's angry. And as long as I look at him, he can't attack me. But if I look away, he will attack me. And now he's gone. Oh gosh. Um, yeah. He will randomly attack me now. Uh, but I will go back into into creative. So he can't attack me anymore. But yeah, if you what look him in sound? the eye. That was him. That was him being angry. Oh, that's how you that's how you know that he's angry at you. He doesn't like to be looked into the in, in the eyes. <laughs> 
It's not easy to miss that, to be honest, with the sound like Yeah, that. yeah, true. <laughs> he actually, um, he is one of the mobs that deals a lot of damage. So it's really scary if you start out the game and you accidentally look one in the eye. Because, uh, yeah, he deals a lot of damage. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'll write it down. Don't look at the Enderman in the eye. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> People in my chat didn't know that. Wow, that's awesome. Ah. You see, even if you haven't played Minecraft, we're learning something. Or even if you have played Minecraft, I mean, we're learning something. <laughs> yeah, I see. I'm glad I can teach your chat something too. <laughs> of course you can, of course you can. Um, there's a few things that my chat is telling me to teach you, but I feel like those are like more advanced things. Like going in, like the nether, the nether, there's different dimensions in Minecraft. You have the overworld, which is this world. You have the nether, which is, um, which is basically hell. <laughs> and then you have the end where the enderman, uh, the enderman, the ender dragon is where, which is the, the, uh, dragon that you need to kill to end the game. Um, and you need to to finish the game. You obviously need you need to go into all three dimensions and get certain things. But I think that is that you you don't need to know that now. <laughs> so, so uh, okay. So then you need to did you need do you need to do like different tasks then? Yeah, exactly. To, um, okay, in survival mode then. Of exactly, exactly in survival mode. Okay. Yeah. How long does that take? Um. Typically. Typically. If you're not a pro speedrunner. Exactly. If you're not a pro, pro speedrunner, I would say my my quickest is one minute and either twenty or forty. I can't remember. Uh, so let's say one one and a half hours. That's how long I took. <laughs> that does sound very fast, though. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fairly fast. You can you can obviously take it really slow. It depends on in what way you approach it because. Hmm. Um, to make the portal to the to the nether you need uh, obsidian which is which you can only get if you mine it with a diamond pickaxe and diamond pickaxe like to get diamonds you need to mine pretty long usually uh, and then these take pretty long to mine um, so you can you can do it with a bucket so, uh, so you can shorten it which probably shortens it by maybe 20 minutes and then you can, and then it depends on how much luck you have in the nether, and it always, like, it always depends on, on your luck and on how, how you approach the game. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so then it took you one and a half hour for, like, to kill the dragon as well, to do everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's really cool. Yeah. No, it's cool, because I actually didn't know that there was a way to end the game, sort of. Mm -hmm. But then I understand how you can get there. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not an ultimate ending. Like, it's not uh, you go there and the game's over. You can always go come back into this world and come back to your house and to everything. Uh, in the end, where the where the Ender Dragon is, there's also, um, uh, like, little cities. Uh, like, Ender Cities. I don't know what they're called. But there you get, all, you get like, more stuff uh, that will make you more... I guess powerful in this world like you have an elytra which makes you able to fly without creative um and so it doesn't it's like it's not an ultimate ending it's it's just i guess yeah. some sort of ending <laughs> yeah but you can keep on living basically yeah exactly and chilling out knowing one that you've beaten the, the dragon <laughs> do you want to see the dragon yeah! Wow! Okay. Um, um, can you do that? Or can you do it normally? Or are you doing something really cool now so that I can do that? Uh, I'm going to try to... What is it called? Look here. Chat! What is it called? What is it called? Summon it? Oh! Oh yeah! I can just summon it. Uh, summon... Ender dragon. Okay, I'm gonna summon it. So it's going to spawn here. It's not going to spawn. Should I? F no, I'll do the stronghold. You know what? I'll show her. I'll show her with the stronghold. Look at stronghold. I'll show. It, I'll show it to you in the world that it actually is. So, um, can I just teleport myself there? I feel like this is the only time I'm gonna be in that world, so I am very excited about this. <laughs> no chat. Why can I teleport there? 
is a thought 1.4k blocks away. Click it. Oh, oh, okay, okay, good. Um, I'll quickly go there and I'll, 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 I'll teleport you towards me. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's okay, I'll be chilling out here with the spiders. <laughs> Is it, how long does it? <gasps> oh, uh, what? This is not the stronghold chat. Go to spectator mode. Okay. Okay, I missed it. Um, let's see. There it is. Are you finding the dragon? Yeah, I'm finding the stronghold, which is which is the thing that will teleport us to the um to the dragon. Okay. Oh no, wait, that's not what I want. And then I will teleport you to me. All right, hello. Ooh, hello. So this is the room that you need to find. Uh, there's like these little things spawning. I'm gonna destroy this because I hate them because they they they're annoying. But you need to you basically need to find uh, you need to make ender eyes, which is this thing in here. You see how all of these are empty except for this one. Oh yeah, yeah. And you need the ender eyes. And you need to place them. Do I have them with me right now? Uh, no, I can I oh, can yeah. give you some. You can, you can place it. Just place it in all of the. Oh, oh. no! Am I burning? <laughs> yeah, but you're not taking damage because you're in creative, so it's okay. You can double click space again, so you're flying. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Exactly. And then you just place them with uh, right click. Oh, that was the wrong one. That's okay. Okay. Oh, oh good, oh good. I, I did the, I had I I had such big problems doing that when I started playing the game. Oh there we go. Yeah. And you just <laughs> you just place them in there. And one Yay. last one. There we go. Oh. Wait, why is it not working? Oh, it's not working, you gotta okay, wait, 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 wait. Chat just told me something. So, uh, what happens if I would have broken like this, this in survival? Uh, I don't think you can. I'm not sure if you can. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I'm already in. Oh, okay. Uh, you can jump into. <laughs> you can jump into the <laughs> into the portal. Normally, I wouldn't be already in. Right. And this is where you spawn. Uh, you sometimes you spawn on a platform. Sometimes you spawn here. Uh, and then we need to build ourselves out and oh, that's so cool. yeah oh and then you should soon see the end you also you already see the the big line at the top of your screen which says ender dragon that is yeah. the health that is the health of the ender dragon if you come up here there's a lot of endermen here but if you if you if you come this way oh yeah you will see. Where is he? Where is she? It's a, it's a she. There she is. Do you see her? Let me just fly up a little bit. Oh, there she is. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, that's the Ender Dragon. Wow, that's so cool. What are all of these like block things that are shining? Um, they they help her uh, regenerate health. So if we were to damage her now, she would just regenerate the health. If we destroy all of these during you know we need to cl either climb up or um or shoot at them with arrows and bows um then she won't regenerate and she sometimes she comes down here and then you can just attack her where is she oh i can see her oh she's bugging uh you can just attack her and then uh yeah that's how you that's basically how you kill her there's different w uh, ways how to kill her you can kill her with uh, exploding beds, or shooting at her, or just just hitting her. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, in the end, you just have to kill her, and then that's game. <laughs> but you have to do that in survival mode, of course. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, we could do it now, but, you know, we wouldn't have beaten the game that way. <laughs> no, it would just be a dead dragon. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And while you do all of this, you obviously need to be very careful, because there's also a lot of endermen. So you might accidentally look at one, or at two, or three, and they will attack you too. So you need to make sure... Ooh, why did that one just die? So you need to make sure that uh, you don't look at them and you and you keep hitting the Ender Dragon. So there's a few things you need to you need to make sure of when you when you try to kill the Ender Dragon. Yeah, this this seems like not an easy task. What about like the exploding beds? I didn't really understand. Oh, how the bed explode. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, if you if you place a bed in any different dimension than the overworld, which is where we were before, this is a different dimension, and then where you know the the place with the ocean and everything, that's the overworld. If you place a bed anywhere else and you try to to sleep in it. It will explode. Oh. So don't let anyone fool you because I know chat really likes to do that and tell you, hey, you're in the nether right now. Please set your spawn point. And then you're like, okay, okay, I'm going to set my, set my spawn point. And you just die. Chat really likes to do that. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. yeah. So sad. You're never going to do that if I play Minecraft <laughs> in the future. Okay? Don't make me that. <laughs> we would never. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks for the tip i'll remember this yeah yeah <laughs> and then uh that do, that also does damage to the dragon so a lot of speed runners actually do it where they place a bed on here and they wait for the dragon to come down and then they let it explode and deal damage that's like a speed runner tactic but you can just do it oh. normally because it will deal damage to you too and it's dangerous <laughs> so but you know. will the dragon get down like is it normal that the dragon gets down to like the bed level? Um, yeah. Or do it, you put blocks? Um, he, no, no, here and there. Uh, right now it's 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 up there, but sometimes it comes down, and that is when you can hit her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the exploding bed. Yeah. Awesome! I like that. <laughs> <laughs> A random way of, or if, if you haven't heard about it, it sounds like such a random way of killing a dragon. Yeah, you know, I, I totally forgot about that because you know, uh, if you play Minecraft, that's like such a normal thing, you know. You know, yeah. hey, look, now she's coming down, so we can we can place a bed here. Oh, she destroyed it. Oh, why is she destroying it? There we go, and that gave uh, death damage to her, but obviously, she's respawning, uh, she, she's, she's regenerating because of the crystals because we didn't destroy them. But yeah, yeah, no, I totally, I didn't think about that. I was like, yeah, you know, the exploding <laughs> bed tactic, like, yeah, you can explode the beds. <laughs> but obviously that sounds really, really weird if you don't play the game. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Yeah. Um. Can you build houses here as well, or? Uh, yeah, you can, you, we could. Um. We could look for a place where there aren't as much endermen, and then, yeah, you can you can place you can place uh, blocks everywhere you want to. There are certain blocks you can't place other blocks onto, but normally you can you can um, place blocks everywhere. Actually, um, a friend of mine, Phil, he he has this like this hardcore world w which he had played for for years and he has uh like a huge city or like like a huge dome with like water um in in this place which is really yeah. pretty it's really pretty wow mm -hmm. wow where did he build it then like uh, i mean in this place but... yeah he killed he killed the ender dragon and then yeah. and then he he yeah he built it here he like oh like right here mm -hmm yeah wow that's so cool mm -hmm. it's really nice wow yeah what's uh, the best house you've ever built um i don't know i i haven't built that many houses you need to know i actually only like i played minecraft uh a few years ago like 2014 um hmm. and then i stopped playing it and then i only picked it up 
um, a few months ago when I joined uh, this server with with my friends. So I only played Minecraft for for like for a little bit again. So I didn't oh. I didn't build too much yet. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. that's awesome! Though. What were you playing before? Uh, I played. I started. Uh, Twitch by playing League of Legends, but I quickly stopped doing that. I decided not to play League of Legends anymore. <laughs> um, and then I just I did just chatting a lot, and I played a lot of um, story games and um, stuff like that, just random games. Ah, oh, that's so much fun! And now you're into Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get to do more variety, just you know, to do different things. But yeah. yeah, obviously my audience, a lot of my audience is here for Minecraft, so I play a lot of Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Oh, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you're just standing up in this one. I want to stand up here too. Yeah. No, wait, am I standing up there? No, I'm not. I'm oh, you're flying. flying. This, this <laughs> block, by the way, this is bedrock. In uh, normal Minecraft, there's no way you can mine this block. Like, obviously, in creative, you can destroy it. But in, in survival, you could not destroy this block. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. That just makes this a thousand times more satisfying. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, to destroy it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Chad, how, how do I get back into the overworld? I actually don't know. Because then, then we can go back and... I could show you the nether, which is the, the third dimension, um, yeah. just so you have seen all the three dimensions. Yeah, um, let's do it. Jump into the void. Oh yeah, okay, let's just, let's just fly. Uh, and if you, if you are above the abyss, this might be a bit scary. If you're above the abyss, just press double click so you fall. And I, double can click. you die? Wait, chat, can you, yeah, you die, okay. Okay, just press <laughs> double click. the world. Yeah, and then we're back in, in the overworld. Wait, I, how do I double click? Like with my just mouse? Dub oh no, sorry. Double click, uh, sorry, uh, space bar. Oh, there we go. Uh... <laughs> no, we're actually leaving the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll TP you back to me. And then I will show you the third dimension, which is, um, cool. Wait, can I? So this is then like the middle dimension. Exactly. The one that we're gonna go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, this is. I would say this is the most dangerous dimension that we're going oh, that we're going into. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, you just need to go into the portal, and then you. Ooh. And then you. We're here. And this, yeah, this is because everything kind of wants to kill you. Oh, you should get you should get out of the portal, or you will come back oh. into the overworld. Oh, that's why everything was. I was like, are we in some magical world? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That uh, makes sense, okay. Uh, so, this is a bit of a bad spawn to show you to show you the world. Let's see. Oh, no, look here. There's a lot of lava here. Um, I love you so there's, much. There's a lot of, a lot of um, monsters that try to kill you. Um, and for yeah this for example this one it is peaceful as long as you don't attack it once you attack it um obviously right now we can attack it but once you attack it uh his and all of his friends are going to try to kill you <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah and there's another version of this which will, will which really likes gold but it doesn't like when you mine gold uh and it will attack you if you don't wear gold so you can ha you can have armor uh, in this game, which uh, I can show you. I'm wearing, for example, this is a chest plate that I'm wearing now. Yeah. Uh, and you need to wear it out of gold, otherwise you will get attacked by his his cousins, <laughs> basically. <laughs> they really just like, they're so like, friends everybody. Like if you do something to somebody, then everybody attacks yeah, you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. They're very loyal to each other. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, there's also
also different uh, biomes here. This is we just spawned in a really bad area. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna see if I can. What happens if I jump into the lava? Will I die then? Uh, not in creative, but if you were if you were in survival, you would die. Yep. Yeah. Wait, did you go up here? Uh, oh, yeah, here, I'm here. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's a if there's a better place I can show you. Ooh, what's that light thing? That's glowstone. You can mine that with you if you were in survival. You could mine that, and you can take it for for your houses, for example, because it glows. It's it's a light source. Oh. Mhm. Mm All right. Let's see if we can. Oh, that's cool. So you can have it as like a lamp or something. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of really cool light sources in Minecraft. I think there's like lanterns and obviously torches. Um, and I think redstone, redstone lamps. Uh, redstone, redstone is a very, very interesting thing, which I have no idea about. Um, you can like, it's like, you can like make machines and it, and stuff with it. It's really cool. Yeah. There have been people that build calculators in Minecraft with redstone, for example. Oh wow! Wait, yeah, I'm going. That to... sounds really cool. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna quickly. Um... I'm very pretty redstone. That sounds very pretty. Yeah. Uh, okay, we are in a really bad spawn area. I'm going to te teleport you to a better spot, uh, to a better area in a second. Okay. Just let me quickly find one. <laughs> All right, I'll just wait here. Um, I want to show you one of the forests. There's two different kinds of forests uh, in the Nether, uh, a red one and a blue one, and I think they are really pretty. But I can't find one right now. Oh, are we? Yeah, and if you in the Nether, uh, what you need to do to beat the game, you need to find a fortress. There's like different, um, different buildings in the Nether, and you need to find a fortress because that is where cer certain mobs spawn. Um, that you need to. The nether, wait, that was where the dragon was, right? Uh, no, that's the end, where the dragon is. Oh, oh yeah, this is the nether, okay, This yeah. is the nether, exactly. Okay, I'm back here. And this yeah. is this is the blue forest. I think it's really pretty. I really like it. And there's like lava at the same time. Yeah, yeah, there's lava everywhere. Oh, it's so cool. Mm -hmm. So pretty, actually. Wow. Yeah. Like a forest with lava everywhere and stuff as well. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This wood also can't burn. So if you want, if you wanted to build your house out of wood, but you would be scared that it will burn, you could use this wood, which will not burn. Ah, oh, because it's like made along with the lava. So. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Do you want to build a house here? We can build a house here. Yeah. Sure. It's a very pretty place. I want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, if you if you press E again and you go through the through the tabs, you will see all the blocks. Yeah. Let me know if there's any blocks that you that you want to build your house out of. I mean, I like purple, but okay. I don't really know if like those are good blocks or anything. But I like purple. <laughs> We can we can build a purple house. There's a lot of purple blocks. Um, we have these. And oh yeah. wait, this is considered the hell, isn't it? Like the middle one. The yeah. Middle. Oh. This is, this is the hell. <laughs> That's okay. We can we can build a house in hell. I just realized <laughs> that I just decided to build a house in hell. <laughs> <laughs> You weren't surprised or anything either. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. Is it normal to build houses here? Is it like every um, place? Not really. You don't really build a house here because it's pretty dangerous. There's like a lot of a lot of things that want to kill you in here. For uh, especially oh. me, I I die a lot in in the Nether, <laughs> so I probably wouldn't buy a, uh, buy a build a house here. <laughs> And then I join and I'm like, let's build the house right <laughs> by the lava, right by the yeah. lava. <laughs> it's I okay. Just it's a pretty forest. Yeah, it's really pretty. As long as we're in, in creative, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Awesome, awesome. Okay, we're not gonna die here today. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, um... Oh, this is a really pretty color, too. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get all the purple blocks right now. But I think I got them. Alright. Um, let's see if we can find a good place. We can make this even. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here to see where you are. Oh, there you yeah. are. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, we could build it here. On this place. Is there any layout you would want? Um, like, you mean, like, like which, uh, I like, 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 oh, I, I like that one, yeah, yeah, because yeah, it sort of take blends take in with the time wood, time. <laughs> but it's like a cooler color. If you, so, know, if you press much. mouse wheel on, yeah. on this, on this block, you will get it in your inventory. Oh. Yeah, and then you can place them yourself. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so. Oh wait, no. Oh no. I, <laughs> I always do that. That's okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, this is like sort of the floor then, right? Uh, we can make it. We can make the floor down here. We could, for example, make it out of this. Ah, uh, okay. So then this is a. These are the walls. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we can kind of add accents maybe with this. Ooh, that looks really cool! Wow. <laughs> oh. Hey Nikki, I made an Insta fan page for you. Could you check it out? Backhand index pointing right, medium light skin tone. Backhand index pointing mm. left, medium light skin tone. Wait, why can I not place it here? Um, oh, did I just take one too much away? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yes, I did. I took one too much away. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, yeah, that's okay. We can just oh, put this here. Okay. What shape should the house be? Should we just, should we do like something like that? Should we? Uh, we could think? like, we could make it like go out here if we... Um, Look at the view, though. The view. Yeah, it's, it's, that's a good view. Definitely, it's really good. Yeah, we can make it like go out here, have like a, another room here, maybe. Yeah. Um, like this. Like oh, this, this maybe. Oh no. Thank you for everything thing you do. Hey, why can I not really, place one really on top of this? Um Oh you 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 can't stand on it? Oh yeah yeah. No. Yeah. Oh there we go. Oh I just put one too many. Oh, it's okay. You can I'll just, just remove it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. We could make it. Oh uh, no! It's it's too. It's the the a ceiling is too low to make it a two story house. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. I yeah. mean, we are probably we would we wouldn't get out of here alive in survival mode. But no, we would not. I would not. So. <laughs> Yeah, I would, I would definitely not. I would not probably be able to even get out of the house. But. <laughs> it's a nice safe, nice safe place. Um, can you have like windows in the houses or? Yeah, we can make uh, purple windows if you want to. Like, like this. This is purple glass. Ooh. <gasps> This is this is the prettiest thing ever. <laughs> like this. The Insta fan page account I made is okay. Alright, I'm gonna see what, what I can find here. Um, 
yeah you can just if you if you want to look for a certain thing maybe just purple uh you can click uh at like at the top where you have the little sections uh there's this comp this round thing which is a compass uh oh, you yeah. can click that and then there's a search bar oh and then i can just type purple yeah exactly oh that's cool Ooh, that's a purple bed <laughs> there's a lot of purple things and purple banner what do you use the banner for here um you can make banners which like for example if you if you have a team or something you can make them you know make your team uh like that but you can also use it for creative stuff like curtains um, oh okay yeah yeah okay wait i'm not gonna place the bed yet i feel like that's maybe not the first thing okay we could have like a no wait now i'm typing oh oh so that's what you were oh you were just yeah talking about me. oh okay so that's we have them okay i understand uh, i will make our entrance here so i guess i can't put stuff there um because I can't put stuff like right here. Um where? Oh you you yeah, oh, you yeah. just you just can't stand on it. Oh yeah. You are oh, you're really. two blocks high kind of. And if you if you stand on it then you can't place it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and that's... Wait, were the light things here, or did you just put them? Uh... Oh, no, I, uh, they were there. They were there. Oh, they were there, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, were, you also put down, like, a bunch of lights and stuff. Like, wow. No. <laughs> that's really cool. Um... Okay, I'm being very slow here. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> Take your time. You, we have all the time. I mean, this already looks like a little mansion we have going on. It's <laughs> yeah. So good. Oh, it's pretty. Okay. Um. Oh no. Oh, the little noise that you hear—that's a ghast. It might sound very cute, but it will attack you uh, when it sees you if you're in survival. <laughs> They're like little okay. flying ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, they're not little. They're they're huge, but yeah, they're ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> they're ghosts. Okay, no, I don't. I don't want that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um. We can have some windows here too. I'm gonna add a window. So. Wait, what did I just add? Oh. No. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. Here. All good. No panic. <laughs> this is not going so well here, Nikki. <laughs> um, what, what is it? <laughs> I just, I took away, I wanted to put some windows here. Uh-huh. Um, but then I started to take away the floor out of mistake. Oh, so. that's okay. Okay, just, we'll just, put just remember to place. You you press left, uh, right click, and you to destroy. You press uh, press left click. There we go. So okay. right click, place, and destroy. Uh, left click. But how can I like see where I'm placing the stuff though? Um, if you if you if you hover over, like you have your little cross in the middle of the screen, right? And if you if you go with your cross to a certain block it should outline it a little bit so it should be a little bit uh, so it, sh it should have like a like a um a dark square uh at the side of it like even if i'm because i'm right now in like the whole taking the block thing oh yeah no not then not then what what are you trying to get i'm trying to just put like a glass on the 
Oh, uh, just trying to put a glass. Oh, wait, should I just put it here maybe? Oh, I'll put it in the inventory and then yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, yeah. you know what? I, let's just say that I meant to do that. <laughs> That's fine. We could like, we could make... Oh yeah, uh, someone just, just said I should remind you to not right click a bed in the nether because uh, it will destroy our house. <laughs> That's very good that you said it. <laughs> <laughs> you can make this like a whole wall of, like a front of glass, so that we can see the, the nice view down. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, okay, now, now I sort of understand, okay. Okay. That makes more sense, so. Oh no, what did I do? Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Um, these these gla the the glass it hooks to every block that it's on. So because there is a block like right like right here, it will go to the block. So you need to you you can't put a block like right in front of it. Oh okay. Yeah. So if you I, if you yeah. place this here, and then you place this here it will automatically hook to this and if you place uh, oh. a block here it will also automatically go to that block oh okay okay i understand i understand okay yeah all right that makes sense now okay so then i need to add like one of those there mm. Oh, wait, what? Oh, alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> good, good, good. You don't really fix that. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna... I don't really know what kind of roof we should do. I'm thinking about just building it up all the way so that it's protected. And then... Oh, we could... <gasps> we could maybe use this as a roof and just scatter it around. Like the light thing? Yeah. Yeah, and they could be full of lights, the whole house as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. What's this little um, thing that you put uh, behind the oven, the furnace? Um, this one? Oh, this is just yeah. I don't know. I thought this would th this could be the kitchen, but I didn't finish it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so is that like a little sitting place, maybe? Or it's something? yeah. It's like a it's it's a slab. It's called a slab, which is like basically a half a block. And you can oh. place that wherever you have. You can place it down or up. You can like do this. It's so cool how creative you can be with these blocks. Yeah, there's a lot you can do. Okay. I feel like a lot of people don't give Minecraft the credit that it deserves because they're like, yeah, it's just, you know, blocks. <laughs> but there's so <laughs> much you can do with the blocks. Yeah, no, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. Like now I'm seeing it. Now that I'm playing with you, I'm seeing it. <laughs> yeah. How much you can do. Yeah. Even though it's fucking. Even though I'm maybe not the one doing it. Oh no, I'm you're doing well. Something. Yeah, you're learning exactly. <laughs> okay. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. Um, what are you thinking? I'm just thinking, okay, maybe we can have, hmm. I'm just sort of thinking about what to put, basically. <laughs> so, um, I have the pink wool block here right now. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking if like, what do you typically have in a Minecraft house? Um, That's, oh, you yeah. can have so much. Uh, this house is a little small, so we you normally can, you can have like an enchantment table where you can do your your enchantment, your magic, um, and you can you have like you can like build a living room with um, wait, with 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 this. This could be like a couch or something. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. We could yeah, so you can build anything. Like this, maybe. 
That does look like a little couch. Like a little <laughs> couch sort of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what happens if I just place this here? Let's see. I'm gonna try to build something here. Okay, I'm okay. Gonna try. Um. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I really am like more tense about putting a block than what I am when I like sack a queen in chess. Oh no! <laughs> like I put down. I'm like. <laughs> oh. I like put so so much more thought into it than what I do when I'm like sacking a queen or something in chess. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Maybe this could be, this could be a fridge, but it's not a fridge, so it can't <laughs> be a fridge and a counter. No, it can't. Um, wait, wait, wait. It could, it, it could. We could like maybe put a button here or something. You were way cool, hmm. by the way. No, I'm not sure. You really helped me get over the. I mean, it looks sort of cool, but I'm not really sure what the function of it is. Yeah, uh, it's just like a. An L in the middle of the room. I hope to one um, I mean, it doesn't have to have a function, you know? It could just be whatever. It could be like a giant sitting place. Two yeah, sitting places. maybe. We can like, maybe add this. So it could be like a, like a, um, like a cupboard or something. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Let me see what else there is here. So, mm, real. Oh, maybe I could put like a flower. Yeah. Uh, you you can take a flower pot. There's like flower pots, and then you can put a flower in there. Oh, that's really cool. Um. Okay. Wait. Where do we have the flower pots? Um. Wait, I can give you one. Or you can you can just look up in the search bar. Oh yeah. You can just look for a flower pot. There we go. Okay, awesome. Yay! We Yay! got a flower. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> It looks hey, cozy. Look too bad. Yeah, it, it looks good. Yeah, it looks cozy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Apart from the ghosts, which are just like flying all over the place. <laughs> yeah, they won't do anything as long as we're not in survival. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a cactus? Yeah. Oh, I like it. That mm -hmm. looks like really. Yeah, that looks really cool. Mhm. Mm very modern. <laughs> yeah. You can also add bamboo. There's also bamboo that you can put in there. Which, wait, um, and where's our bedroom gonna be? Are we gonna have a bedroom? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Or are you just taking the couch here? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, no, there's not really much space here, is there, for a bedroom? No, no, our house isn't super big. It's very cute and cozy, but there's yeah. so much space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we can't we can't sleep in the nether anyway, so maybe it's smarter to not have a bed. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> to avoid collateral damage. Yep, that is true. We, we'll just take the sofa. Right, right. <laughs> Well, we can sleep in turns. Yeah. <laughs> so I can like yeah. protect the house from the ghost and then you sleep and then we can Exactly. Like, exactly. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there anything else we can add here? Hmm. Let's see. Decorations. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. paintings. We could add a painting. <gasps> um, Ooh. Maybe here? Oh no, that's too big. That's too big too. Okay, I just want to add this here, but I don't know if that's... Or no, that just looks ugly. No, let me take that away. <laughs> hmm. 
This is nice. And then we can, yeah, maybe do this. Hi, Nikki, I love you. very cool that looks really cool <laughs> i love it i'm glad <laughs> what is what's the what's the frame item uh, frame oh yeah it's it's you can just put uh items in it so you can oh uh, one second i'll be right back yeah I just panicked. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're well. Oh my god. <laughs> I just you made me panic. I didn't know where my mute button was. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Alright. <laughs> it's not been going well while you were away. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's okay. okay. Wait, let me just yeah, you need to remember that these uh this glass, it it all it always snaps to uh, to a to a block, so there should always be a block next to it. Yeah, but you I... could um, if we could make it so that wait, item frame. There we go. Um, we could put it up here. Oh, or there. <laughs> no, we, I wanted to put it there. I just oh, okay. it in the wrong place. I meant to put it there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, yeah, you can put whatever you want in there. There's, you can put every block you want in there. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. All right. Let's put something cool there. Maybe we could have like some, ooh. Oh no, wait, okay. Sorry. Um. Oh, that's pretty. That's so <laughs> cute. Like that is like a little um, flower painting, but with a real flower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or like a pressed flower. You know, you yeah, can like, like press a pressed flower. Yeah. That's cute. That's nice. <laughs> there are a lot of flowers here. Yeah. <laughs> in our house. But that's okay. Flowers are nice. Exactly. You know, they're not they're not growing here. So, so we got some from the other world. Yep. We're bringing the flowers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't know what, to, what what else we could add. I mean, I'm pretty happy with our house. I think it looks good. Yeah, it's What's really the, pretty. What are these white things here? Uh, maybe like a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. Modern <laughs> art. <laughs> It did look really modern though. It, it looked like a modern piece of art. Yeah. <laughs> it looked really cool. I like it. I'm vibing with it. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that is. I um. Yeah. I think yeah. it's nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. Is there can anything? you like take a picture? Sorry. Uh yeah. You can uh if you uh if you you can first press F one, then you have like like this view. And then you can press F two, and then you pre you have you can press F one again, and then you see everything again. But then you with F two you take a screenshot basically. Not nothing is happening. Oh, on your keyboard. Oh, press F one again, and then you should see in chat that you saved a screenshot. Oh, I just took twenty five screenshots. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> One of them will, will have turned out great. <laughs> I feel like when a really old person like uses a camera and I just like <laughs> just, just, sort of just press the button and they just have the one of the pictures turn out well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me do that again. Okay. Wait, do you want to be part of the picture too? There we sure. go. There we have you. Yeah. Close. 
Wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stand here. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Alright, now I have some really cool pictures of the... Yeah! Place. Yeah, your first house in Minecraft! Let's go! Let's go! I'm really liking it. I would honestly want to live here. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. I like it too. I like the view. That's so cool. Yeah, I can just stand up on this couch or whatever. Even yeah. Like on these like white things, the white. Yeah, part. exactly. <laughs> oh just look out. <laughs> oh. Imagine like actually living here though and just like looking out and seeing forests and lava and stuff. Wow. I feel like at some point that would just. Uh, I would miss sunlight. <laughs> that is true, there's no sunlight here. You're yeah. 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 It would be cool for 24 hours. True, true. Maybe like 12, maybe not even that. But... <laughs> yeah. At some point it would get boring. Hmm. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Yeah. All right. Um, I think I think that's that's enough I could teach you for today. There's a lot to take in at first, and I don't want to, you know, give you too much information. I think that I learned a lot though. I learned how to how to sort of build a house, mm -hmm. or at least how to get started. I learned how to well, I I could I saw all of the cool stuff which I'll probably never see again. But I <laughs> got to meet the dragon, which was really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, no, I, I feel like I sort of get the basics, sort of, of mm -hmm. Minecraft at least, mm -hmm. which is... Yeah, it's mostly good. just playing and figuring, figuring stuff out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you have to play yourself to, like, figure stuff out yeah. on the way, like... Yeah. I mean, if you, if you want to do another stream sometime where we just, you know, play survival mode and I actually show you how to beat the game, then we can for sure do that. Yeah, that would be super fun, that would be really fun. Yeah. That would be really fun. Not, today I got to see creator mode. Exactly, I liked it. exactly. <laughs> it was a relaxing place, but we got to get out to the real world. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know, to get to get a feel of the game. I think it's yeah. better to have creative mode first. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. It was great. Thanks a lot for teaching me Minecraft. Yeah, thank you for helping me uh, learn chess better and understand it. I'm very excited for Saturday. <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun. I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be checking the tournament out. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah. And good luck in the tournament as well. Thank We're you. all rooting for you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the chat is rooting for you. Oh, thank so. you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, yeah, I will. I will go talk to my chat now. I. Yeah. Me I, too. All right. I hope you have a good rest of your stream. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun today. Me too. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank have a great too. stream and good luck once again Thank on Saturday. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. All right. Hello, chat. That was sweet. Oh my god! Girl spoken. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. That was nice. She was really nice. I'm so glad. <laughs> I mean, of course, but yeah, that was cool. Did I teach her the well the game well? What what I what do you say, chap? Did I did I tell her the basics? Not over overload her with uh information. <laughs> yes. Good. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Hi Jockey! Hello! We just finished playing Minecraft and we played some chess earlier. Very cool, very fun. <laughs> How are you? Chess? Yeah! I have a tournament uh, on on Saturday. The the block block champ, I think it's called. Yeah. <laughs> Win it? I I will try. The only thing my win the win in my book is going to beat beat will because i will probably play against him in the first round and if i beat him then i'm gonna be happy that is all i want that is all i want i want to beat will <laughs> i'm 
also drinking lemon water out of a wine glass because we don't have any other glasses. So yeah. <laughs> I do need to pee though. So I will run a quick ad and I will be back in one second. Okay. Okay. See you in a see you in a minute chat. Just taking a sweet time getting out. <laughs> Hi chat, I'm back. Oh. Room tour? Uh, I'm currently living... You play Genshin Impact. I don't play Genshin Impact. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't really have time for that. Uh, I'm currently living in a room which is not really mine, you know? Like, I don't really have much of my my stuff here um because everything is still in germany so i it would really make sense to give you a room tour <laughs> i have a closet i have my bass and my guitar my guitar is actually on my bed my guitar bag i have a cat tree and i have my bed and then i have my desk and i have a shelf above my desk and that's all that's my my room basically <clears throat> my room looks like Tommy's room. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Tommy has Tommy's door is completely somewhere else. What? <laughs> no, it doesn't. You like the drip? I'm glad. I'm glad you do. I do too. It's very comfy. Very you comfy. Say, Hi, Emmy. I love you so much. It would make my day. Oh, you meant the closet. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry then. The closet. I don't actually know what closet Tommy has. <laughs> I'm not really looking too much into that, but maybe. Play guitar. I could I could play guitar and then send you off chat. How does that sound? Uh, also, hi, Emmy. I hope you have a good day. I'm sorry I didn't do that earlier. Hello, Nikki. You're a massive inspiration to me. Oh, thank you. My comfort streamers. Thank you. I appreciate you it. Say hi to Joseph. Hi, Joseph. I hope you have a good day. 
Uh, my guitar, wait, I need to get my guitar, I'll be right back. Uh. <clears throat> I'm tired, I'm really tired, Chad. Not just sleepy anymore, I'm actually tired. <laughs> What should I sing? What should I sing? Hi, Nikki. You look pretty as always. Thank you. Just I wanted it. to say H I I. Hi. Um, your new boyfriend. I don't know how to play your new boyfriend. And oh, everyone's saying I don't know how to play your new boyfriend. Headache. I'll do headache. I'll do headache. It's my go-to song. It hopefully doesn't take too much energy because I'm sleepy. So, we'll do headache chat. <clears throat> we'll do headache. Uh, need my cable. Need my cable. Actually, I did it yesterday. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do Please Never Fall In Love Again. Yeah. Could've been one lonely night. Just like the others. But you Appreciate it. That's it though. <laughs> That's all you're gonna get, chat. Today at least. Because I am sleepy. And I will send you off to 
<laughs> to who am I gonna send you off to? Mm, mm, oh. <gasps> Should I send you off to Matu? I haven't read of Matu in so long. Okay, chat. So Matu, uh, he's a really, really, really amazing artist. Uh, he sings. He's a singer. Um, and he sings on stream. And he... Um, He's uh, in my chat a lot and he supports me a lot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rate him. Uh, he currently has 111 views. So if we send him over a few thousand and give him all the love, we're probably gonna make his day. So uh, let's rate Matu. Don't tell him though. Um, give him love though. Give him all the love, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, evening, or day, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Next one is going to be Dream SMP. So be there. <laughs> Bye, chat. I love you.